That's an eternity of basketball ahead of us. Another beautiful steal perpetrated by Todd White. The action continues. The let-go situation here. I'll let they take it. Going up against a double team, Jeffrey Moore has perfect access to the bucket. What you saw from that normal replay of that last bit of action was Juan Fernandez actually wanting to take off the against Master Jaworski. We're crossing the twilight zone. That's an eternity of basketball ahead of us. It's been two years since he started the Pasig River Cleanup and Dredging Project. Before that, we were doing the Sulyahan River Cleanup Project in 2020. For Pasig River, Mr. Rang is allocating 2 billion pesos to clean up the river. We are pleased to report that uh, so far for the past two years that we have been cleaning up, we have already removed about 1.3 million metric tons of silt and waste in both Pasig River and uh, San Juan River. And we have already covered more than 22 kilometers of the 27 kilometers of Pasig River and here more than 5.4 kilometers of San Juan River. So our focus was really more on the shallow areas of uh, both the rivers. Importante yung talaga dredging. Piro mo, one meter lang, ilalagyan mo tubig. Paano hindi aapaw dito sa lupain? Kaya yun ang isang problema. Tara na napakagaling ang San Miguel sa tulong para sa taong bayan. Last two years, medyo mababaw na lang. Walang ganong problema. So, hindi pa nagdredging dito ang San Miguel. Binabaha dati. Pero ngayon, wala namang. Hindi na masyadong mataas ang tubig. Wala na masyado kaming pangamba dito. Ang mga ganda na collective efforts we really can solve this problem kasi economically uplift the livelihoods of the poor and the rich para magpantay-pantay ayos lahat para kaginhawa for everyone. We're almost nearing the completion of the river cleanup here in Pasig River and San Juan River. We are targeting to finish by July or August of this year. Our aim uh, to contribute uh, to the community at San Miguel is able to you know, help in the not only in terms of reducing river pollution, but also to increase the uh, water holding capacity of the river so that we can mitigate flooding in the future. Here we go. This is an eternity of basketball. We'll get going pretty soon. We just remind you we're part of the Globally Balling Network. Check out globallyballing.com for original articles, audio and video projects. All the shows on the Globally Balling Network. And on YouTube, on the YouTube channel of Globally Balling Network, look, check out our most popular episodes for AEOB. Bogs Adornado, number one yan. Naglaro sa shell yan. All the way down to Yoyo Villamin. Then you can you see some Toyotas, some Crispas in there. Check them all out. Watch, keep watching. You can watch us also. Uh, we're streaming on the Globally Ball and Twitter or X page. Depends what you want to call it. We're streaming right now. Link 3 slash Globally Ball and for easy access to all of that. Follow us on social media on the Globally Ball and Network. Here we go. I'm Charlie Kuna. And uh, for now, wala pa yung aking mga kasama, but uh, we're going to get this show on the road. It's episode 205 on this day. And uh, we're keeping a streak going. No? A couple of weeks ago, we had Betty Cheng. Then we had John Best last week. And today, we have someone also related to that common franchise for those three players. Uh, he coached those two, John and, and Benny, at one point in his coaching career. Played for LaSalle uh, in Green Hills. And then went on to Taft to play for the seniors team. And then went into a coaching uh, career that uh, was quite successful. Nakadalawang championship pa with the Shell franchise. Also... Uh, was a champion in the PBL or PABL and uh, then went on to the United States and there's lots of questions on the page. Bakit? Ano? Madalaman natin sa araw na ito. Pasok natin all the way from the Bay Area near San Francisco. Coach Perry Ronquillo, kasama natin sa araw na ito. Coach Perry, welcome to the show. Hi, thank you. Thank you, Charlie. No, it's glad to be here and uh, I'm so happy to be able to uh, reconnect with the people in the Philippines. Well, they've been waiting, no? And then when we when we posted that you were the guest, Coach Barry, nakita mo naman yung reactions, lots of comments right away, <laughs> questions, and you know, and and then, syempre, uh, somebody said we're keeping the Shell streak going. That's right, no? I, I I even forgot that Benny played for Shell. Uh, I was looking at the lineups uh, last night, and I said, oh, oh nga pala, nag Shell nga pala si Benny for a season, and then John Best, of course, was your import yes. for several 
seasons in a row. And I like that picture to your right shoulder behind. Yes. We showed that we showed that photo last week on the John Best episode. No, yes, so John yes, Best yes. there, Donald Williams, and you're coaching them, and that that was a championship run for you. Actually, but, but, from yeah. my uh, from my uh, son's girlfriend gave it okay. to my son as a gift. Nah, yeah. niya, sabi niya, I found your daddy on the internet. But <laughs> <laughs> coach, you know, we, like, we, we need to go back to the start and, and yeah, talk yeah. about how the whole the passion with basketball started. Obviously, you were a mm-hmm. player as yeah. well prior to coaching. Yes. So, so how did it happen? Why did basketball ang napusuan mo, coach? Because you know, you know my, my father was a junkie. He played one year of collegiate basketball for La Salle. No, one year only. No, and uh, the reason why he was he only played one year was because uh, he got kicked out of uh, the team by uh, then you know, legendary coach Chito Calvo. Okay. No? So, lagi niya sinasabi sa akin yun. And the reason why he got kicked out was because sabi niya, according to him, sabi niya, lumaki ang ulo ko eh. Sabi ng father ko, lumaki ang ulo ko eh. I answered him. So, umabot doon sa point na sabi raw sa kanya ni Coach Chito Calvo, don't rile me, Ronquillo. Do not rile me. So, anyway, to make a long story short, he was kicked out. Hindi pwede yun sa coach dati. Ngayon, pwede. Pero back then, hindi pwede. No? So, yun ang nangyari. No? Eh, he, he was a junkie. Now, I guess, yung frustration niya that he wasn't able to continue with his career. No? Mm-hmm. Um, nag 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 na, na napunta sa akin napunta sa akin no uh, i remember he was he was the guy who really started it all for me no uh, as early as uh, i can remember siguro this was even before martial law no uh, sinasama ko ng father ko sa Rizal Memorial mm-hmm. mika pa noon mika pa rattan chairs pa nga yung ano tatanda ko very very clear sa utak ko eh no yung alam mo naman yung Rizal Memorial the old Rizal Memorial you go in bait ka sa takilera di ba and then there's a small lobby tapos paikot yung ano eh may ali diyan na paikot around the court sa labas right. no yung corridor no right. yung corridor and then yung four corners may uh, entrance for the players right mm-hmm. so naririnig ko na yung cheer ng mga tao Narinig ko na yung cheer ng mga tao because every time somebody made a shot or a steal, may yung nagre- nagre-register yung ingay ng mga tao eh. So anyway, uh, nung umabot na kami doon sa entrance, very clear to me, no? Dahan-dahan, palakas ng palakas yung sound ng mga tao. Tapos mamaya, biglang nakita ko, I mean, I'm, I'm probably a four-year-old kid or five-year-old kid. Mm-hmm. Kid yung ilaw, yung click lights. No? Yeah, right. Tapos biglang, oh my God, these men are running inside the court. So, hook na ako eh. Hook yeah, yeah, na yeah. agad ako eh. Hook na agad ako eh. Pero, yun, that's, that's I guess where it all started for me. No? Tapos, uh, I had two, actually, two um, things that I wanted to do. No? Mm-hmm. Play basketball and I had a... Uh, it's kind of weird to say it, pero na, may, mahilig ako manood ng movies even since, ever since I was a little kid, no? Mm-hmm. And this was because my grandfather was an actor back in the LVN Sampagita days. Uh, in fact, nabasa ko nga eh, there are six surviving films from post, pre-war. Okay. And he has two films na buhay pa. <laughs> okay. so, they're, they're on YouTube, yung Ibong Adarna mm-hmm. and uh, Giliw Ko. He's act- he actually plays the oldest son, yung binakabarumbado na mm-hmm. sa Ibong Adarna. So, right, right. Uh, <laughs> so, so, may lahing artista pala kayo, Coach. <laughs> Hindi sa mukha ah. ko, ha? Pero... <laughs> <laughs> so, so that, at such a young age, you saw that and it, it, you got hooked. But when did oh, you actually start playing? So what would you do? In the backyard? May park ba kayo malapit? Yes, yes. So actually, yung, yung father ko, we were uh, we were residents of Paranaque, sa Tambo, mm-hmm. Paranaque. No? Okay. Oh, San, very familiar San, San, ako dyan. Sunset Village. No? Mm-hmm. Sa Sunset Village. And yung, yung father ko built a basketball court at the back ng bahay, mm-hmm. bahay, ng, bahay namin. You know? 
by actually ng grandfather ko. But it's only child siya. So we lived with my grandfather. So naglakay siya ng court doon. Ito sa biga sa pelota court. Ang laki, mm-hmm. Charlie. No? Mm-hmm. Ang laki. So wala eh. Talagang every day. Every day na ginawa ng Diyos from the time I was a little kid, naglalaro ako eh. No? May, may mga utol ka, coach? May mga brothers ka ba? Yes, yes, yes. I actually okay. have uh, uh, two brothers from my dad's uh, first marriage. No? Mm-hmm. Yun yung close in age ko. Tapos yung sa kabila, no? sa second uh, marriage ng, ng, uh, ng father ko, I have uh, four sisters. Ah, four, okay. uh, three sisters and one brother. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. Bar mga half brother ko, half sister ko. So kalaro mo yung mga brothers mo. Uh, oh, really also oh, hooked on in, basketball. So yun yung yes, kasama we mo doon. We were one year apart. Okay, that's why. Oh, oh, well, tapos yung actually yung 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 sumunod sa akin, I I'm the eldest. Eh. Mm-hmm. Yung sumunod sa akin actually became a teammate of mine sa Lasal College. Oh, okay. Uh, for he played one one and a half for two years ago and then left for years. Okay. Mm. All right, okay, okay. So, did, so, so you started playing. So from the start, Mag Green Hills, Lasal Green Hills, kayo from grade school, oh, oh. Uh, no, no, no. A tough tako eh. Tough muna ako. Eh. Oh yeah, yeah, tough. Pala. that's right. Tough they moved to, to Green Hills. Right, right. May, may Green Hills na noon, pero I remember yung mga old timers mostly from Banda right. Manila area, Paranaque area instead of going to Green Hills. Don't kasi tough correct. eh. No? Yeah, yeah. My boss at my boss at the law firm, ganun din eh. Uh, was also in Taft first and then he moved to Green Hills. Green Hills, yes. Then, oh, nag- yeah. then tapos, at, then, nag-move ng Green Hills, at Ateneo na siya. Since <laughs> nag-move sila banda ron. Doon sa Quezon City. Yeah. Naging, yes. naging blue na, oh. Yeah, so, so at Green Hills, that's when you started playing, I guess, no? Yung tag may mga tournaments na mm-hmm. with, with mm-hmm. coaches and all of that, no? Yes, actually, um, nung, nung naglaro ako sa Green Hills, oh, before, before, even, before that, no? Before that, um, so I played uh, elementary ball for for La Saltaft, right? Mm-hmm. But and uh, a lot of people don't believe me when I say this. I have a I actually have a witness, Bertie Disena. I don't know if you know him. Mm. Oh, huh? He watches every week. He's a okay. big big follower of our show. Si Bertie Disena is my witness. No, no, mga 12, 13 years old ako. So my dad would bring me to his yung mga, yung mga Sunday. Sunday basketball games, no? Mm-hmm. Yung mga basketball games, yung mga old-timers, ano? So, in this group nila, there was Eddie Desena, there mm-hmm. was Bonnie Carbonell, no? Mm-hmm. They were in their 40s at this time. So, medyo yeah. malalakas pa yan, no? And sila, Noni Cruz kung from, from La Salle. I think he was mm-hmm. in the same batch as Bachman. No? Okay. Uh, Dodo De La Rama, those guys, no? So they were the legends from me from the Mika days. Sinasali yeah. ako ng father ko doon. I was 13 years old, no? And being 13 years old, akala ko sabi ko, kaya ko to. Mga matatanda na to eh. Akala mo mayabang, alam mo na, 13 years old, <laughs> kaya ko to, kaya yeah. ko to. The first game na pumasok ako, sabi ng father ko sa akin, ingat ka diyan. Sabi ko, bata ko mag-iingat diyan. Sabi ko, kaya ko 'yan, kaya ko. First rebound, nakakuha ko. Second time, I tried to get a rebound. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hindi, ako naka, hindi ako nakatalon. No? The okay. third time na kumuha ko ng rebound, nakita ko na lang yung sarili ko palapit na palapit sa ground. Bumagsak ako. No? Nasahod na pala ako. Nasahod ka na. Binanatan ka na no mga... Oo. Oh. <laughs> oh, yan. Sila, si Mang Boni. I was able, able to actually thank Mang Boni Carbonell no nung na PBA oh. na nagkita kami sa nagkita kami sa Cuneta one time yes. sabi ko Mang Bonnie I don't know if you remember me no from the 1970s yung nag- nakikilaro sa inyo ako is the young kid na nakaku ni Tony Ronquillo sabi mm-hmm. niya oh yes natatandaan kita sabi niya no kaya nga ako lumapit sa <laughs> sabi ko Mang Bonnie utang ko lahat sa inyo yan ako tinuturuan ako ng mga tips ni Mang Bonnie so anyway yeah. so yun yun ang yun ang playground ko eh as, of course aside from sa mga larong labas ano and then uh, when i played college uh, high school basketball no mm-hmm. bago ko naglaro ng high school basketball nag-enroll ako the very first class of my best hindi pa my okay. best best yeah. pa lang uh-huh. yes yeah. wala pang sponsor wala pang sponsor 
si Mr. Nick Jorge, Marilyn Jorge, you know. Eh, you know, that was the very first time na nagkaroon ng basketball clinic dito na organized, no? I remember before that, nag- nagkaroon ng Ed Macaulay Camp. Nag-attend din yata ako, pero nung, uh-huh. I think, early 70s. Pero okay. sandali lang yon, no? Yung mile, yung best, actually, no? Yung very first class, kami yun. Uh-huh. There was only, no, I, I think, 20 no. of us. 20 lang uh-huh. na sumipot. Tatlong yeah, yeah. Ronquillo, tatlong Salvador, tatlong Jorge. Pur- no? Magkakapatid, ah. Oh, 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 yun lang, yun lang nagumpisa. And now... Wow, yeah. Now it's all over the place. Yeah, my, Even my son, my son did that also a few years ago. And, and eventually, you became a coach for the, for, for the best program. Yes, yes. Diba? For a while, back in the early 90s, you know? Early uh, 90s. Yeah. So, so coach, at that, at that age, yung medyo early teens to you know, high, pa high school ka mm-hmm, na nun, mm-hmm. sino yung mga iniidolo mo? Kasi you, since me ka days, nanonood ka na eh. So who were yung mga loday mo? Ang 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 mga idols ko noon, of course you know, as a small kid you gravitate towards the exciting players eh. Right. No? Mm-hmm. So and I was able to actually tell Danny Franc- Danny Florencio, oh. sabi ko, Danny. <laughs> nanonood ako sa iyo, maliit pa ako, sabi ko. Talaga? Sabi ko, oo, talagang idol kita. Of course, si Danny Florencio, I remember mm-hmm. him from the back then. I remember Freddie Webb. Mm-hmm. Okay, yung yung yeah. small guys ng Iko. Kanen, yeah. no? Oh, and then bagong pasok sila Martires, si Bilbao, oh, yeah. no? Yan yung mga yung mga small guy gravitated toward the small guys, no? Yeah, yeah. There was only one bigger guy na idol ko si Jaworski, no? Jawo. Because he was Pero always... rin. Oh, guardian. Yeah. Oh, no. Um, what because ano, ano reason? Why, why were why did you gravitate towards the smaller guys? Because, uh, you know, I was a small kid and, uh, you know, you always gravitate towards the, the thing that gives you most the most excitement. Eh. No? <laughs> okay. At that right. time, ang centers were basically post players. Hindi ka yeah, yeah. centers ngayon that mm-hmm. spread the floor out and take threes. Diba? Na nagdadala ng right. bola. Diba? Yeah. Uh, the, the only one who did that was Mon Fernandez uh, PBA. Yeah, right. Diba? Before <laughs> right. that. Uh, sabi yeah. ng, oh. So, you know, you gravitate towards the exciting players. Eh. Kaya yun ang mga inaidyo. Sila Francis, Arnaiz, nung pumasok na sila. So, yun. That's, that's, that's how uh, my love affair with uh, basketball started. No? Okay. Yung so, nasa yun, Green Hills ka, Coach. Hmm. You're, you're playing in Green Hills na high school. Hmm. Medyo, na, na, what tournaments did you join during that time? Well, Diyan, meron, ng, meron ba mga Prada, MMBL na nung time? Eh, parang wala yes. pa, no? Exactly, oh, na, Prada, no? Prada, Prada, wala pang MBL noon, Prada. Ah, yeah. Ay, kasi oh. I remember 1979 ako pumasok ng elementary, ah, ng, ng uh, high school, no? 79 yes. to 83 ako eh. Ngayon, yes. by 1980, Lasal bolted the NCAA, left the NCAA. Remember Correct. yung incident na yun, ano? Correct. So, yes, yes, no. inis na inis kami because dapat kami na yung next batch na papasok sa, sa juniors na maglalaro eh, No? So we ended up playing sa Prada, sa PSAL, uh, yeah, yeah. In, uh, in international school, yung PSSAA, IS, mm-hmm. Brent, I know, IS, mm-hmm. uh, at that time, meron pang uh, Wagner okay. High School, okay. sa yeah, yeah, yeah. Clark, Clark mm-hmm. and uh, George Dewey, Faith Academy. No? So we ended up playing there, which is very good competition then. Ah? Oh. oh mm, lalakas. So yun, no? So we were not fortunate enough to to play sa NCAA or UAAP nung time na yon. Wala wala talaga legal na san. So ang ang one of the people that really changed my life I guess was my my coach in high school si Tatang Mendoza no. Um mm-hmm. I played you know I was a little bigger than everybody else no. So in grade school everybody wanted me to play center. Pero dahil nagmailo best na ako yung yung year between high school and uh, grade school and high school nagma, nagmailo best na ako um, he had the foresight to tell me na you're not going to be a center you play guard <laughs> yeah, yeah. Niyo, you play point guard so mm-hmm. i didn't know kung ano nakita niya he saw something in me sabi niya maglaro ka ng point guard or shooting or shooting guard so okay. I had to thank him for that. I have to thank mm-hmm. him for that. Oh. What was your height, coach, at the time? I was around uh, 5'10". 
eventually mm-hmm. grew to about six. Mm-hmm. So na nag-end ako at six flat. Mm-hmm. So big so, guard, di ba? Big guard, sa bowl, yes. Oh, no, time, big, big, big guard, no? And at that time, natatandaan ko, uh, I was in high school, nasa college nun, ang star, I think, was si... Uh, Sino ba to? Sa Lasal din eh. Si Arnel Manyoska. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I know the name. Yeah. Arnel Manyoska, no? He was, uh, the, they said the second coming of uh, Sonny Jaworski. No? So, yun. So, napapanood ko yun. Si, uh, ano? And, um, sino pa ba? Beng. Si Beng. When no, I was no. in grade school. Naku po. Eh, swerte naman kami dahil, yun nga. Rizal Memorial eh napakalapit sa Lasal Campus, no? Pag naririnig namin yung sigaw ng mga sumisigaw, tapos nag-cheer for Lasal, o oh, nakashoot si Beng. Nakashoot si Beng. So, yun, yung mga yun, yung mga guards na yun. Among those, know, the guards, uh, among those yeah, guys, ano, how did you try to emulate? Well, it's not that I tried to emulate them, pero... There was a template. The template was mm-hmm. a guard that could uh, uh, use his strength to go inside. Yeah. No, a guard that could play defense. No, mm-hmm. strong defense against a guard, another guard, or maybe a, uh, a a bigger shooting forward or shooting guard. No, that type of template. No, and I wasn't a very good player. Uh, to be honest with you, no, um, <laughs> I, w- I wasn't a very good player. But I guess I was able to get a spot on the team because I could do, I could play two positions, no? mm-hmm. primarily the off guard position, yeah. and in uh, in, a, in a pinch I could they could uh, bring me to the point guard position. Right. Uh, right. No high school, pa di ka shooting forward, pero no college hindi na. It was a stretch, <laughs> stretch <laughs> there. <laughs> so we are in two. How do pero yung yung paglipat mo sa seniors team naman sa sa mm. Lasal Taf no. Oh. Was that was that something that that you foresaw already? Did did you oh. look at other teams? Was there a chance you could have gone to one of those other teams that that were No, 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 no. Uh, actually um the first year, my first year I graduated in 83. Yung 83, mm-hmm. there wasn't really any leagues sa Lasal. Mm-hmm. No, so when I entered college Wala sa salihan eh. No? So I, I, I guess yung team disbanded. So we really didn't have a team noong 83. Okay. No, my so that's not the reason why you went to La Salle? To play? That wasn't no, no, the no. It was to study. No, I really wanted okay. to study. No? Right. Um, so, you know, I guess I, I told myself, oh, siguro wala na. Wala na akong basketball nito because wala na eh. Na, na, there was no league. There was oh, no league team. at oh. all. Oh. Yeah. And then nineteen early nineteen eighty four, see uh, uh, Lasal all of a sudden um, put up a team. First coach was si Waki Trillo, mm-hmm. si Waki Trillo. So he only stayed a couple of months, no. Pero luckily he took me in, took me in, and then after he left, nag take over si Derek. Pumare. Okay. He okay. held held an open tryout. No guarantees, even for the former players. Prove your worth, no. So mm-hmm. you know, I was lucky enough, no, to to be part of the team from '84 to '88. Uh, that's, you know, that, that's our cue, coach. You may, we're hmm. talking about the salt after already. It's our cue to enter uh, the first segment of our show. It's called the time yeah. capsule. Yeah, where uh, Sid Ventura, who will join us shortly. Uh, prepared a set of photos, no, from your from your whole career. So let's let's enter the time capsule right now, Carly. Let's show photo number one. Speaking of Lasal, <laughs> so, uh, so there you me. are. That's there me. you are. This that's is my brother. Poblador, right? Poblador is in, in front of you, no? Is that yes. Toby? That's oh, yes. that's Toby Poblador, Gabi Velasco, Al Azurin, Dante yeah. Sapalo, Isaac Po. Oh. This is our uh, statistician, si Awu Lakson. Uh-huh. That's my brother and uh, the late uh, Rafa Tinglasan. Ah, so utol mo yung sa kanan ng statistician ni, ni Lakson? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Uh-huh. That's okay. my brother. Oh. And then there was a question post, obviously, no, when we were looking through these photos. Sino naman, who are these uh, cute ladies 
kapatid <laughs> ng mga players ba yan? Alam mo, I think one of those, if I'm, if my memory serves me right, um, I think that's Gretchen Barreto in that Nadia Montenegro. Oh yeah, yeah, you're oh. right. Oh, oh, yeah, on the left side. Yeah, that's pretty. I'm pretty sure that's Nadia. Oh, then yeah. Gretchen's the one. Nak, nak, halos nakatalikod na si Gretchen. Ano? Yeah, oh, yeah. I don't remember. Kita tong nasa kanan kaya. Yung nasa kanan naman. Hindi ko kilala. Yung clear na clear na yung itsura. Si Gabi Velasco na kabigote pa dito. Coach Gabi. So that's your brother. So we na nakuha pala namin yung brother mo in a photo. Yes, yes, that's my brother. I no idea who that was. Si Ricky. Yeah. He, he was a lot better than I was. He was a lot better oh, than I was. Guard the coach. Uh, shooting, shooting guard. And uh, sometimes they would use him as a shooting forward. Mas nakakalaro yan kay Derek. Kung ako nababangko, mm-hmm. yan naglalaro. Okay, okay. <laughs> oh. Coach, how good was Dante Sapalo? Kasi I, I know that he was part of the NCC training team. Eh. He became mm-hmm. part of the NCC training team. Uh-oh. So how good was he? He was he was a he was a very athletic player, no? Mm-hmm. He was a very athletic player. But at that time na pumasok kami na naging teammate ko siya. Ang dami niya ng injuries. Ah, mm-hmm. oh, okay. ang dami niya ng injuries. He had already oh. he was ahead of me. No 1881 mm-hmm. pumasok na siya sa Lasalle, eh. mm-hmm. di ba? Mm-hmm. So, marami na siyang injuries sa paa. So, there were times na nahirapan siya. He couldn't he couldn't uh, move because of his uh Uh, knee injuries but he was very athletic no mm-hmm. very athletic and uh you know coming from high school nakikita mo yung mga matataas na players they would be dunking left and right kayang kaya mm-hmm. nila it was uh you know for us it was a cool you know it was like a shock so mm-hmm. <laughs> no so yun yun si dante dante he's a good friend of mine up to now no uh nice, and, nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And speaking of NCC, no, how 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 much of a yung impact ni Danding Kohang ko doon sa Lasal program? Because I know that you he started handling Lasal in 1981, no? Uh, and you were still in high school at that time. Nararamdaman yun ba doon? Time no, no, yun nga. Eh. No, eight, by 80, 1980, Lasal, that was being mm-hmm. bankrolled by uh, ah, 80, Ambassador yeah. oh. Kohang ko. Left. Yeah. Left Lasal. Oh, They left okay. the NCAA. Okay. Diba? Okay. Okay. So, hindi okay. na kami nakinabang noon eh. Okay. okay. Hindi na kami nakinabang noon. Pagpasok ng 83, no? Wala namang sasalihan la sa la, la, la liga, no? But doon sa Lasal, if you you know, I'm I'm pretty sure yung mga old Lasal Lasal players, even yung mga kabatch ko, they know. We all knew na doon sa sa side ng campus ng Lasal, there was a mansion there they called it the Agno House. Yeah, yeah. Agno House. No, yung Agno House was the place where they housed the NCC players. No? Mm-hmm. Kaya there was a time, sila, manage sila ni, ni Mr. Kowanko. Kami mm-hmm. hindi. No? Okay. Kami mm-hmm. hindi. Hindi kami nakinabang doon. No? Mm-hmm. Pero ang coaches namin, as you can see, si Derek at saka si Coach Pilo. No? Yeah. Yeah. Have every yeah. once in a while, they, we would get scraps. <laughs> Kasi yun ang NCC talaga eh, di ba? Yeah, NCC, yeah. Ang, NCC ang, ang, uh, ang uh, focus eh. Yeah, no? actually, yeah. Pero, you know, once in a while, some of them would come and practice with us. No? So, you know, yun ang ano namin doon. They, 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 they were very nice people. No? Although sila may star na no, kami were just trying to make a name for ourselves. Oh, it's kind of stuff during your time because you know you weren't part of any major league really, but wala, but you wala. but you would join whatever tournament you could, eh, di ba? Intercollegiate, we, di ba? Mm-hmm. We joined the uh, intercollegiate uh, national seniors, mm-hmm. no national open yata and uh, Pikuwa, no mm-hmm. yung mga teams ng United U- University of Manila, yeah, yeah, Mukha, yeah. Mukha, yeah, Mukha. Yeah. and there was even a time sumali kami sa PABL Open. That's right. That's yes, right. yes. PABL Open when they invited all these uh, teams, high school, uh, college teams, to mm-hmm. play alongside the commercial teams, even wow, the Sapano right. teams. Very competitive. Mm-hmm. Mama Arellano. Mama Arellano. Mama Arellano. Mama Arellano. Mama Slav. Pasok oh, nila. Yeah. That was, ooh, ang ganda nun. That was, that was a great experience. Yun lang naman nalaro ko sa PBL. Eh. No. Kumusta kayo doon sa PABL? How was it? Uh, how did oh, the start here? We did. I don't think we did. Uh, I don't think we did very well, no. Uh, be, uh, because that was a strong tournament, no. Yeah. 
Yeah, I don't yeah. even know if there was a collegiate team that made the finals. Hindi siguro, wala, wala. Yeah. No? But it was a good experience for all of us. Because of course. You, these players were a lot older than us. No? Tama. And we were playing against them. No? XPBA pa, yung iba. Oh, yung iba, XPBA pa. I mean, oh. ako, hindi naman ako talaga laro eh. I would be like the 10th, minsan 11th man off the bench eh. Uh-huh. Yung first year ko, nakakalaro ako. No? Oh. And then second year ko, third year ko hindi ako nakakalaro eh. No? Talagang mm-hmm. bangko-bangko ako. And then oh, okay. towards okay. my last <laughs> my last year, no, my you know, my play improved, pinapasok na ako ni coach Derek and I would you know, I would get maybe 15 minutes, 20 minutes mm-hmm. in, you know, playing time. Nice. nice. So, right. uh, nice. naman. I'm I'm so thankful to coach Derek and uh, maybe this is a chance for me to tell him because you know, uh, when he, you know, he became the coach, uh, we were all of a sudden brought into a new dimension. Eh. Matututo ka, you had to do things na you never even thought about. He sci- made the game scientific for us. I think mm-hmm. offshoot nung Jacob's, ano, no? Yeah, yeah, Jacob's siguro. Influence. Pero, siguro. pero, natuto kami, eh. you know, uh, that was the first time na nakita ko na, oh, ganito pala ka scientific ang basketball. <laughs> yeah, oh. yeah. Mm-hmm. And they say the bench players make the best play uh, coaches. <laughs> you know that's that's uh you know I, I I've always thought about that. Sabi ko, what is it that makes players in the first place? Uh, what is it that makes players want to coach? Because it's a thankless for profession, mm-hmm. no? I guess you love mo lang talaga for the game. Eh? No, mm-hmm. and number two, I guess you know I don't know if there's any merit to what I'm going to say, pero mm-hmm. siguro kasi as as role players, hindi kami kano kagaling. We have to be a little bit more studious with regards mm-hmm. to the nuances of the game. Mm-hmm. Pinagaralam mo yung mga maliliit na bagay, no? kung paano ka makaka-catch up doon sa mas magagaling sa iyo athletically at saka you know with regards to ta- skill wise kasi kung sasabay ka doon hindi ka mananalo eh no mm-hmm. so you have yeah, to yeah. find the way you have to find the way no hindi can you imagine minsan nga eh in practice sasabihin sa akin ni coach Derek o ikaw mag-point guard sa kabilang team tapos mm-hmm. eh <laughs> si <laughs> May pressure ka ni Dindo pumarin. Di Mike Wong. Oh. Jesus, Mario Josep. Ano na baba ang bola nito? So, you know, you have to find the way. Hindi mo naman yeah, pwede yeah. take your challenge, di ba? Right. So, you know, most of the stories that I'm telling you are things that I learned in practice. Dahil bihira naman ako maglaro eh. Uh, <laughs> yeah, in the yeah. actual game. Eh. So, yeah. yung little things that I had to learn in the very little time that was given to me mm-hmm. no to 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 prove my you know imp- improve myself then it take ko talaga yeah I took yeah it to heart no i took yeah. it to heart and you know it served me in good stead yeah and you, and you didn't know at the time but if you look back obviously you acknowledge it now you were those were the foundations of your being a coach diba during that time mm-hmm. parang mm-hmm. pumapasok na lahat those little things before we move on to the next photo coach can we go mm-hmm. down the line like 16 players yeah. ito can you identify them lang from number 9 on the top and then we'll go to the okay. to towards Gabby Velasco. Ito si Mac Bautista is also a reserve player for oh, yeah. us. That, An- that's... Anak ng coach ng Lasal Sobel yan, di ba? Yes, exactly. Mm. That's oh. me. Si right ben, there. Eh? That's me. Oh. Si oh, Dong yeah. Vergere, Rafa Dinglasan, oh. Eric Afable, uh, okay. Mike Wang, Mike Wang. Okay. Teddy Monasterio, oh, Teddy. Okay. Lawrence Yulo, na, uh, Eddie, Eddie V. v. Mm-hmm. Eddie V. Rafa's father, our managers, Mr. Pompoy, mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. coach, Coach Derek, that's Bimbo Mababa. Ooh, this is nine. June Panlilio, who was my teammate in high school at Lasal Green Hills. Okay. Na okay. naging teammate ko rin dito. Oh, the Tisoy's na, in dalawa. Yeah. <laughs> si Joey Santa Maria. Tiki Chairman Bahan. Diki. Oh, Chairman Diki. Diki. Oh, si uh, Raymond Laxon, Henry Siwiko. Yep. That's... Uh, James Mit- uh, Joseph Michener. Michener, okay. No, uh, and uh, yeah, this is and Gabby. Gabby Velasco. That's Coach yeah. Pilo and our athletic director, si Romy Soto. 
Nice. Tandaan mo wala ta. Malinaw ba? <laughs> Hindi pa ako. Oh, malinaw ba coach? Kasi yung ibang players ng mga guests namin Pati medyo later on na pros na, hindi nila maalala kung sino, di ba? Di ba, Jay? Puti, ano lang, puti, lang, puti lang ang buho ko, pero hindi pa ano yan. <laughs> anong, anong year to? 18, 89? This may have been in... Eight, no, no, no. Hindi 89 ito. By 89 graduate. 88 graduate. Oh, oh, mga 87 oh, siguro to, Coach. 87 no? siguro. Oh, 87 yan. Okay. 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 Oh, kasi Ikuwa Teddy Monasterio. Andiyan rin si Teddy Monasterio, di ba? Eddie Viz there. Yeah, so, yeah. 87 na yan eh. Yeah, tama. I, I want to talk about that maiden season ng ano uh, ng nasa sa UAP. Yes. Uh, uh-huh. uh, obviously, you know what happened, naman. You were yes. you were last place at that time, oh. di ba? Or second to the last uh-huh. place. Yes. So, uh, how was it like? I mean, transitioning from n- nowhere, no, to the UAP. Parang nasindak ba kayo na? No, you couldn't. You couldn't believe the excitement. No, sinabi sa amin na pasok na kami. No. Yeah. Uh, that uh, the UAAP board finally said yes to Lasal's application. After five Actually, years. there is a story here, no? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Noong 1985, nag-apply na kami before the UAAP, nag-apply na kami, mm-hmm. no? Uh, so, sabi ni Derek, okay, there will be an exhibition game, no? Us versus uh, some, U- I think a UAAP selection, no? Pero manunood lahat ng board members ng UAAP. Okay. okay. To see kung are you guys worthy. So, anyway, uh, naglaro ng game. No? The game went on smoothly. Hindi ko alam kung sino na nananalo. Pero with one second to go, <laughs> nagkaroon ng loose ball. Mm-hmm. Nagkaroon ng loose ball. Mm. Si, yung teammate ko, si Al Asurin. Si Al Asurin is a uh, black belt sa karate ito eh. Okay. <laughs> And nagkaroon ng loose ball. So I think yung kanyang uh, knee-jerk reaction nung pagtalo niya ganun to grab the ball, pak na suntok niya yung yung isang <laughs> player. Tiga Ateneo pa naman yata. Mm-hmm. Sabi ko, oh my God. Sadya, sadya. <laughs> hindi ko alam kung sa Jawa hindi. Pero anyway, he, 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 know, he knows what I'm trying to say. But anyway, nasuntok niya, natamaan niya. Mm-hmm. So, I think dapat the year before nasali na kami. Ah, <laughs> talaga? Ganun ang kwento. I think so. Hindi so, na-penalize na- kayo dahil doon. <laughs> Maybe so. Dahil, I remember that, 85 yun eh. Ay, na magugulo lang tong mga to eh. <laughs> <laughs> so dapat siguro naka oh, yun, 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 yun. I remember that well, that that uh, very well. So galit na galit si Coach Derek noon after the after the game, after the exam. So na delay, kaya na delay kayo ng konti. I think so. Di ba? Yes. Mm. May this is a rare action shot of you coach on the right, no? Uh, that's you taking a shot. Yeah. Against... Ah, high school baba, okay. Against oh, beda yan. Di ba beda yan? Beda. Maki De Hoya, oh. Jerry oh, Esplana. Si Jerry yeah, Esplana. Wow. The, but the most, I'm sure the, the people, the biggest question now is, who is the lady with you on the left? Oh, siya yung muse namin uh, noong 1986 uh, opening ng UAAP. Eh, alam mo, bangko ako, so ako lang pinagdadal nung ano, nung banner. <laughs> Make your... Hindi ka team captain? <laughs> team captain ka ba, coach? No. Hindi, hindi. Sabi niya, okay. siguro sabi niya, make yourself useful. Ito, ikaw, dali mo yan. Ay, ganun. <laughs> eh, nagkataon kasama pala yung muse. Pasensya oh. sila. Actually, nung, nung, nung ano, nung, 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 nung nakapila na, may mga ibang players sinasabi sa akin, Terry, palit tayo. Hindi, eh, nandito na ako eh. Oo, oh, eh, bukang napakaganda ng, ano eh. Yes. And yung, yung lady girl eh. ito, she's a very nice girl actually. No? I don't know her personally, pero nakausap ko siya noon, yung time na yun. And, uh, um, pangalan niya, Cecil Teltet yata. No? Okay. And he, uh, he eventually ended up uh, being the wife of my high school batchmate. Oh wow, okay. Mm-hmm. 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 Talaga. okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. At this at this juncture, I'd just like to acknowledge though, some some former PBA players are watching us. Of course, Aldo yeah. Perez, la salista din yan. Oh, yes, yes. Aldo yeah. Perez always always watches us, hasn't guessed yet. Yeah, 
Oh, yes. uh, si Ver Santos, all the way from Australia, watching us. Yes. And of course, Tito, Tito Barela, also watching yes. us. Right. 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 Ganda Tito. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Vice. Oh. So some of the ones who are watching us. So we're, we're, we're at the LaSalle mm. stage of, of your career. Yes. And then, but at, the, at this point in time, was it uh, even remotely in your mind that you would end up uh, that that you could play in the PBA of Alamo oh, no, 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 no. I had no, I had no uh, uh, illusions that I was going to play. You know, no, no. Alam ko na the writing was on the wall. Sabi ko hanggang dito na lang talaga, no. Okay. Although yeah. nung last year ko maganda yung pinapakita ko, pero alam ko hanggang dito na lang eh. You know, you feel it, no. Uh-huh. So, eto ngayon, no? nung last year ko with Lasal. No. Ang ganda-ganda na nang dinalaro ko. Nakakakuha na ako ng mat- daming playing time. Sabi ko nga mga 15 minutes, 20 minutes sa pikuwa yata 'yon, no? Mm-hmm. Na sinabi ni coach Derek sa akin, no, that he wanted to include me sa lineup, no? Ang problema nito, nagkaroon ako ng Achilles, ruptured Achilles tendon. Oh. 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 Ruptured Achilles oh. tendon. So sabi ko, no and uh, pina-check up ko kay Dr. Rivera at that time. Mm-hmm. Sabi yeah, so ni Dr. Rivera. Rivera, there's no way you can play. Impossible, no? So sabi ko, sabi ko coach, hindi talaga pwede. So nung sinabi ko coach, hindi talaga pwede, no? The writing was on the wall. Alam ko na yun na yung pinaka-final na ano ko. And the thing mm-hmm. is, and I'm very happy naman na nanalo yung team. The team won the championship. Eh. Mm-hmm. Kami yung nag-champion ng intercollegiate nung last semester ko eh. No? Mm-hmm. Kami yung nag-champion ng versus... Anong, you... anong year yun, coach? Sorry ko nga pala. Late na ko dumating. I apologize. Uh, 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 I, I, just, I just like to say, no, uh, hindi ko na-acknowledge kayo na dahil biglang pumasok. Mm-hmm. The late Jay Mercado and the late Sid Ventura. <laughs> Welcome to the show. Sorry, daddy okay, duties. Sige, eh, daddy oh, duties. Oh, oh, sige, tuloy mo na. Tuloy mo na yung tanong mo. Sige, sige, sige. <laughs> hey, coach, what year was that? Yung last year mo sa Lasal? Last, last, last semester ko, I graduated in March of 88. Okay. So, yung tournament na yon, I think started early January. Mm-hmm. January, no, of 88, mm-hmm. no. Sayang sabi ko, ang ganda sana, no, uh, go out with the bank kahit pa paano hindi ako masyado yeah. nakakalaro. I mean, makalaro man lang ako ng intercollegiate, nag-champion pa, pero hindi pala ako nakalaro, no. Mm-hmm. And I remember very well yung mommy ni nung, nung, nung nanalo na kami ng championship and umuwi na sila from Iloilo, no. Um Anong tawag dito? Um, nung nanalo na kami ng championship, na umuwi na sila from Iloilo, eh, i- nagkaroon kami ng, um, what do you call this? Uh, celebration, no? And I remember very well ng celebration nung, 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 nandun ako sa isang kanto. Naiiyak ako talaga, sabi ko. Talagang malas ko naman talaga. Umiiyak ako sa isang corner of the, <laughs> the house na pinagawa nung, nung party sa kay Mr. Ding Lasan, yung manager namin. Mm-hmm. All of a sudden, may gano'n na, may, may humawak sa shoulder ko. Si, yung mami ni Rafa, si Mrs. Uh, Marina Ding Lasan. Mm-hmm. Sabi niya, Perry, sabi niya, I've seen how you work, you know. This may, this, you know, playing might not be for you, pero I think uh, God has other plans for you, bigger plans for you. And okay. I took that to heart. Sabi ko, maybe hindi playing, pero let's see. Tignan natin. Pero deep inside, ayoko na. Sa after basket, after college, sabi ko, ayoko na. Ayoko nang mag, ano, ayoko nang mag, uh, ayoko nang pumasok. I didn't want to touch basketball with a 10-foot pole. <laughs> Coach, may, may tanong pala si hmm. former referee Tito Barela sa'yo dito. Ano? Coach Perry, sino nga ba yung import na natakot sa akin nang susugurin ako dahil binigyan ko ng, ano, ng technical. technical. Oo oh, nga, naku po, sorry. Ah. <laughs> well, John oh, Morton. No, Which no, of your no, imports? No. John no, Morton. I don't, I don't recall kung sino yun. Nag- yeah, I remember what happened, pero hindi ko na talaga matandaan. Sorry. Yeah, pina, pinapaisip mo ba, Vice Tito, si, si Coach? Uh, <laughs> yeah, pero Coach, what, what happened? What, what happened? Matandaan ko, may, may nangyari. Eh, uh, Siyempre, alam mo na, may controversial uh, call, no? In yung controversial yung sinasabing controversial call sometimes depends on who's who's ano eh who's uh, ano tayo dito view point yeah, of yeah. view perspective diba? 
Siyempre, yung perspective nitong tao na to, masama yung tawag sa kanya. No? Tito was making the right call as far as he was concerned. Pero nagkaroon ng, ano, hindi ko lang talaga matandaan eh. Alam ko nagkagulo eh, pero I don't remember talaga kung sino. <laughs> pero pasensya ka na, Tito. Pasensya na. <laughs> Ito, there's a, there's a fan that says, uh, si Fritz, I hate the picture of you running and jumping down the court after Ken Redfield hit that winning shot against my NSD. Hinebra. Hinebra fan. Player, one of the uh, best. Uh, one of the best kano coach to ever coach in the BBL. Maraming kong salamat. Thank you. Thank you. Thank uh, you. Thank you. I was only an assistant coach at that time. Yeah, assistant ka pa noon. That's right. Chita Arba. Chita Arba. You were running up coach and down. Coach I No, no. Siyempre, kasi celebrate. Matalon ko yung bro. Baka jumping up. Baka jumping up. Oh, jumping up and down. Coach, anong itong photo na graduation picture na to? Kailan to? 88. Ah. College yan, or after college. Yeah, okay. so I was only 170, 75 pounds. That was my playing okay. weight. That was my yeah, playing yeah. weight, 170, 175. Yeah. So we were lucky to have found that. Of course, the players in this photo on the right are more or less the same players as that last photo. Yes, yeah. yes, more or diba? less. Oh, Alas yes. pareho, no? Pare-pareho lang. Hindi yeah. ko lang alam sa anong, sa anong liga ito eh. Pero yeah. Basically the same people. Pero malaki but but palamang sa Lasal Gym, hindi mo Lasal sa likod eh. So, mm, di ba? Sa, sa gym ng Lasal yan eh. The old Lasal Laki, Gym. Bakit dalawa do 23? Hindi, <laughs> <laughs> practice ito eh. So, they uh, were uh, told us to bring a uh, green uniform. Uh, 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 so, uh, kung ano-ano, minsan alam mo, nagkakahalo-halo. Rang, wala namang ano eh, wala namang <laughs> exclusivity ng numbers pagdating ng okay. green ng college. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, uh, uh, si Chairman Dicky nga, iba yung uniform niya. Oo nga, iba. Oo. <laughs> so wait, but so after that, uh, based on the when we were discussing your timeline, coach, though, no, shortly after you, a couple of years after you ended your collegiate playing career, uh, you went to the states, right? Yes. You went to the states, yes. And right you ended up, up, you ended up being a coach in an NCAA Division three school. No, right? sabi, uh, be, be, that was. Hindi uh, ako graduate, no? That happened uh, two, three years later, pa. Okay, no? okay. Uh, nung 88, when I graduated, katulad nga na sinabi ko sa inyo, I didn't want to coach anymore. I didn't want to touch basketball. No? Pumunta ako ng, ng America, frustrated na frustrated. No? Mm-hmm. But at the same time, I was happy because this is a new adventure for me, America. Eh. Uh, just as a primer nga pala to the people, no? kaya ako nagpunta rin ng America because dual citizen ako eh. I was okay. born I was born in New Orleans sa Louisiana. Mm, no? Okay. New passport na kay kaagad. I I I uh I was baptized in uh New York sa Yonkers, mm-hmm. New York. But a few months before my first birthday, inuwi na ako ng magulang ko sa Philippines. Kasi mm-hmm. yung so by virtue of American law, American citizen ako. Wala akong ginawa. Pinanganak lang ako doon. Yeah. Pero by virtue of Philippine law, uh, since parehong magulang ko were Filipino citizens at that time, uh-huh. Filipino rin ako. In fact, ang ginamit ko nga was a Philippine passport going back to the, the Philippines. Uh-huh. So, dual okay. ako eh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So, going back to the question, I'm sorry, nawala yung train of thought ko. So, pagpunta ko ng, ng America, I did not initially want to coach yet. No? Nagpumasok ako, nagtrabaho ko bilang... Uh, front office coordinator for the New York Helmsley Hotel. Mm, okay. Uh, I worked as a New York, New York Helmsley Hotel uh, front office coordinator. Mm. And dahil malapit ako sa Madison Square Garden, no, sa, sa midtown yun eh. So once in a while, in my off, time, off days, I would go over and watch NIT, mga mm, NBA yeah. games. I would watch the games. Dahan-dahan, bumabalik yung yung kate for the game. No? Ooh. So, sabi ko, if I'm not gonna play, tingnan ko nga if I can coach. Yeah. So, nag- nag-attend ako ng ano, nag-attend ako ng uh, uh, training camp ng Fordham University. Okay. Fordham University. Their coach at that time was si Nick Makarchuk. No? And dun, nung, nung, nag, nung nagkakausap kami, no, sabi, he, he was kind enough to tell me, to, to allow me to watch, no, uh, and then just observe, no. Maraming rules eh, siyempre, NCAA, di ba? Just watch, 
no? Don't tamper with anything. Manood ka lang kung pwede gusto mo. So, mm-hmm. pinayagan nila ako through the kindness also of uh, yung uh, uh, what's his name? The late uh, Michael Goldberg who was the uh, president, I think, of the National Basketball Coaches Association. No? Lumapit ako sa kanya. Sabi niya, sabi ko, I'd like to learn more about coaching. Mm-hmm. Sabi niya, okay. Sige, I have a friend uh, sa Fordham University. I think we can facilitate that through Fordham University. So, nagpunta ako sa Fordham University where we, you know, we were living very close to Fordham University dahil sa, sa Bronx din yun eh. Sa Bronx yun eh. Ako, I was living in the Bronx at that time. Mm-hmm. So, pagkatapos ng trabaho ko, 12 midnight to 8 o'clock, I would go over there and watch. No? And dun ko nga na meet later on, hindi ko na, hindi ko na, hindi ko, hindi pa siya sikat nito, assistant coach pa lang siya. No? Pero I kept the the clippings, yung mga souvenir programs, yung mga programs nila, no? So later on, sabi ko, parang familiar tong tao na to, itong coach na to, sikat na siya, nasa NBA na siya. Mm-hmm. Coach na siya. Sabi ko, familiar tong coach na to, sabi ko. Sabi ko, na-meet ko na ba ito? So I took a look at the uh, old mga photos, yung mga program ng, ano, ng uh, Fordham University. True enough. Namit ko na pala dati. Hindi pa siya sikat. Si Stan Van Gundy. Okay. <laughs> Very young assistant coach pa, pa lang siya noon. Okay. <laughs> Stan Van Gundy. Galing, galing. Gundy. Ganun na ba yung boses niya ever since, coach? <laughs> Very distinct ang boses. Oh, eh, no? diba? mas, Alam mo pag siya eh. Mas payat pa siya na. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I think that was his last year before he transferred over to another school as an, an assistant yata or as a head coach. So, so may focus ka na sa coach. No, I mean, parang nga, no, oh. bumabalik yung kate. Yung ika nga, no? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yan na. Sige, okay. Okay, natututo ako. Natututo ko dahan-dahan. And then eventually, no? Uh, pagbalik ko sa Philippines noong 19... Late 1989 yata, and if I'm not mistaken, nag mm-hmm. ano, nag uh, sige, let me try this out. Let's see how you know how can I how I can try these things that I've learned, no? So nag coach ako sa Pika, Pika okay. sa Unity and uh, Warner, no? So nag nag coach ako, and then na lalo naman kami ng championship, no? <laughs> okay. So, ko, eh, maybe siguro. <laughs> Maybe Pwede. siguro dito ako dinadala. Okay, <laughs> sige, sige, sige. Okay, sige. Okay. Uh, 1990, I got married uh, mm-hmm. in the Philippines. No, Bumalik ako sa Philippines. I had, may, 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 nagkaroon ako ng anak. In the 91, I went back to the States. No, mm-hmm. In the meantime, yung time na yun, I was coaching in the PICA. 91, bumalik ako sa States. No? So, New York ulit. And uh, I was lucky enough to get that job as an assistant coach for uh, Pratt Institute, uh, mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. Brooklyn, Brooklyn. No, yeah, that was uh, that was a great experience because uh, college nene, eh. college nene eh, gave you some legitimacy. Eh. No, even if it was just a D three program, may legitimacy yeah. na kahit pa ano dahil D three kana, eh. no, college basketball program na. Eh. And uh, one of the players there, uh, I even tried to recruit. Nung, nag, nung umuwi ako sa Philippines, I even tried to recruit him. Dahil ang galing. No? Mm-hmm. Uh, eventually, he ended up being one of the first superstars of N1 nung 1999, 2000, yung N1 mm-hmm. traveling group. Yeah, yeah. Uh, si, yeah, yeah. Si, si Biz. We used to call him Biz. Anthony Hayward. Si half man, half amazing. Mm-hmm. Yung original. Okay. Yeah, yung original. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I I have to give props to uh, three guys who, you know, I was I was an Asian guy and they just gave me a chance. I mean, hey, you think you know? We think you know what you're talking about, okay? Being mm-hmm. a mm-hmm. chance, no? Uh, um, see, Mr. Eugene Marshall, who is now I think the uh, um, head athletic, uh, I think the head of athletics. Uh, Hampton University mm-hmm. sa okay. East Coast, yeah. no? uh, Lester Pilgrim who is uh, legend in sa Brooklyn area and uh, another coach in Donovan Ellis you know, they they took me under their wings sabi nila sige 
ikaw, tignan natin what you can do. And they, they were kind enough, sabi nga sa akin, eh, oh, sige, uh, you handle defense. Mm-hmm. You handle the defensive side. And that's a big thing. No? Yeah. Kasi, hindi mo, alam mo naman, it's not like uh, man-to-man or simpleng zone lang yun eh. Marami ng junk defenses dyan. Yung mga three, triangle and two. No? Yung mga traps, mm-hmm. funnel trap. Yung mga, mga ganun eh. Ang dami mo ng pag-aaralan eh. And they allowed me to to to, to handle that. No? And I remember this very well. Yung first day, first day ko sa Pratt Institute. Uh, practice. No? I was 20, 20, uh, 26 years old, 25, 26 mm-hmm. years old. Batang-bata. Sabi sa akin nung isang player when I was running drills, you know, I told them to go in defensive position and you know do some drills. And this guy wouldn't do it. Nakaganon siya. Nakapamaywang. Mm-hmm. You know, sabi, is that how you play defense? Sabi niya, yeah. Nagta- akita ko nagtatawa na na iba. So, tinetesting ako nito. Mm-hmm. Sabi ko, are you trying to be a wise guy, a wise ass? Sabi niya, sinagot ako. Sabi niya, yes. Yeah. I'm trying to be a wise ass. So, mm-hmm. get out. Get out. Pinalis ko. First mm-hmm. day ng practice. Mm-hmm. Sabi ko, wow, matatanggal na ako sa trabaho. First day ng practice. May kinikita <laughs> Alam mo yung coach? Sabi niya, you did the right thing. What happened? Sinabi ko. So, you did the right thing. So, I guess, sabi ko, okay. So, yung mga ganong, ano, ganong mga experiences, you get, you get confident. Eh. You get more confident. Dahil, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tama yung ginagawa mo. Yeah. As long as you're honest with everything, you know, you know wala kang ginuloko, you're honest with yourself. Eh. Yeah, did, did that player ever come back to you and say, Coach, I'm sorry, can I practice again? It was not me that had the final decision, yung coach. Oh, if okay. I remember right, sinubukan yata, pero hindi na nakabalik eh. Hindi na okay. nakabalik. Oh, okay. So out na rin talaga siya pala. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, okay. Uh, yun. Yeah. So, pero ano nangyari, Coach, uh, that lasted for a couple of, of years uh, with Pratt and then and you came back to Manila? No, it lasted one year. One okay. season, one season. I wanted to, I wanted to go for the next season. Tandaan nyo, no 1991, when I came back, went back to the US, may asawa na ako noon. Mm-hmm. Right, no, may right. asawa na ako noon. I had a child who was in the Philippines who got left behind si Bea. He was, she was like a year old or maybe less than a year. Susunod na dapat eh. Mm-hmm. Susunod na dapat sa Philip sa America eh. Ngayon, uh, you know, I was contemplating whether to 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 stay on with Pratt, to continue coaching, you know, or mm-hmm. uh, you know, medyo na mi miss ko rin ang Pilipinas, so sabi ko, God, give me a sign. Give me a sign. Where do you want me to raise my family? Eh, sinasakyan ko, nagsasaboy ako. Bihira naman na nakakoach sa New York eh. Mm-hmm. Everyone nakasaboy, yeah. di ba? Right, yeah. right. Nagkataon, and I was living in the Bronx at that time. No, uh, so there were part there are parts of the subway na underground, pero there are parts lalo na sa Queens, Brooklyn, sa Bronx yeah, na that's... nasa itaas. Right. Kuminto yung train, no? Kuminto yung train. Uh, all the while, sabi ko, give me a sign, give me a sign. As I was looking out, nakatayo ako dun sa train eh, kasi maraming tao eh. As I was looking out. Sa harapan ko, sa iba ba, nakarinig ako ng tatlong ano, pak, pak, pak. Binaril yung mama sa harap, sa harap ko. Ooh. Tapos, nung binaril yung mama, there was a car that sped, no? stopped right in front of the guy. May lumabas na mama, sinaksak pa na sinaksak yung tao. Okay. Wow. Sabi ko, tapos, and this is the funny thing, yung mga tao, Classic. <laughs> Walang nakita. Nakatingin lahat sa kunari sa malayo. Wala akong nakikita. Wala akong makikita. Hugas oh. kamay. Di ba? Hugas oh. kamay. Di ba? Ayaw madamay. So sabi ko, that was it. Sabi ko, maybe that's the sign. So bumalik na kami nung 92. Sabi ko, okay. Oh. Tuloy ko dito. Okay. That was the reason. Kung ngayon yun, na uh, nakalabas natin ang cellphone, kinukuha na nila yan. Oo, oh, oh, yep, yep. Oo, oh, yep. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 o
Hindi rin sila <laughs> makikialam doon, pero, pero we, we video sila. nila. May, may content sila para sa akin. <laughs> oh, para, <laughs> pero ganun talaga. Yeah. So that's the sign. So you, yeah. so you came back, coach, and uh, 92. Eh, bumalik ako 92. 92. Uh, and then good. tuloy-tuloy ang coaching mo rito, di ba? That is not the time you joined the best already, best center ka na ganyan. I joined best, no? Sabi ko, Ooh. okay, you know, I'm a, uh, I'm a new coach. No, I'm trying to make a name for myself, okay? So, let's see. Okay, start off with Milo Best. No, full circle, that's where I started. Tapos babalik correct. ko ako, di ba? Okay. Correct, correct. Milo Best. And then Lasal Zobel. Correct. Gave correct, me an opportunity correct. because umalis na si Jong Wichiko. He was coaching the yeah, high school team yes, at that time. Uh, no, so you know, uh, those two experiences, no, really helped me a lot. No, so establish my footing here in, in you know in in uh, coaching in the Philippines, and then 1993 came along. No, 1993, beginning of 1993, no, um, si Eddie Viaplana was playing for mm-hmm. Burger Machine. He was a player of Burger Machine under Chot, Chot Reyes. No? Si Chot left Burger Machine for, for coach pure for Pure Foods. No? So sabi ko, okay, let me, get, let me see if I can call Eddie kung matutulungan niya ako no? just to get an interview with the, the team. No? Mm-hmm. So sabi ni Eddie, sige, uh, just go there. Let's see, look for Mr. Tony Blanco. And I went for an interview, no? Uh, again, surprisingly, uh, against all odds, I, you know, they, they, they took me in. Mm-hmm. They gave me a one, one conference contract. Make or break. Mm-hmm. Make or break. We made the finals. We, we lost to uh, Nikon who had uh, Ray Evangelista, Udoy oh, Bermote, yeah. Noli Luxu. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That was a strong team too. And yeah. under coach uh, Orly Castello. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no? yeah, yeah. Pero after that, wala na, nanalo na kami. Ah. Nung after we lost to Nick on championship, the following, the following conference yata, we won na. Yeah. Um, mm. uh, There's a uh, Milo Best photo, Coach. Yeah. Huh? And, and, yes. Uh, Ito mga estudyante mo. Oh, ito. And then, you know, yung funny thing dito sa Milo Best, or going back to doon sa mga sinasabi ko kanina na <clears throat> mga old-timers, yung mga old Mika legends taught me how to play the game. Dito naman, nato, natuwa naman ako dahil lahat ng coaches, puro mga veteran basketball players there. Correct, correct, yes. There was Orly Bauzon, there was Boyd oh. Vera, there was Ulysses Rodriguez, there was Ompong Segura. Yeah, wow. yeah. Si Eddie Pacheco was there, pero hindi siya naglalaro at that time. Mm-hmm. So sabi niya, sabi niya, after, after, after the, after the session, tapos na yung, ano, graduation ceremony, sabi ni Coach Nico, sige, laro tayo. Yung, itong team natin with the best players, no? yung mga medyo teenagers na. So sabi ko sa sarili ko, my God, nakakalaro ko mga dating pinapanood ko lang, mga veterano pa. Olympian <laughs> pa, correct. si Coach Orly Bauzon. Oh. So, 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 ayun na, tuwan-tawa ako dahil, kaya sabi ko nga, no, no, going back to Danny Florencio, uh-huh. no, si Danny, every time nag-uusap kami ni Danny, group of four kami, group of four eh. Every time birthday ni Danny Florencio, nung nandito, nung buhay pa siya, siya, si Danny, si former Ismael Steel standout, si Serafin Vida, mm-hmm. no? okay. yung friend namin, si uh, Freddy Alcantara, friend ko yung best friend ko yan dito, and I would always have lunch. Mm-hmm. Tapos nagkakwentuhan kami, sinasabi ni Danny Florencio sa akin, sigurado ka bang Ganito lang ang age mo. Parang, yung mga kinikwento mo, 70 years old na. Parang, nakikala <laughs> yung mga yan. Sabi ko, Danny, maliit pa ako kasama ng, nanunood na ako sa inyo eh. Yeah. Kaya sabi niya. So, tapos, nag-full circle din yun. Nakakalaro. <laughs> nakakatuwa, nakakatuwa talaga. Oh. Coach, may managing estudyante ka ba during your Milo Best stint who went on, you know, to to the PBA or even UAP? Uh, alam mo, I think there was one. Si Christian Coronel. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, if oh, I'm not mistaken, oh. yung iba hindi ko na matandaan eh. 
no? Coach, saan itong photo na to? San Agustin ba yan? Makati? San Agustin yan. San Agustin. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, okay. so, early morning, si Coach Melissa Putong, Edwin Barber, Tina Sabado, Vic. Uh, I, I'm sorry, I don't remember. Oh, puro um, mga player yan eh. Diba? Yung mga coaches nila talaga. Oh, eh. oh yes. A women's team. Oh. Si Coach Ompong, till, till a few years ago, was still doing Milo Best. Yeah. My, son, yeah. my son did it. I think 2015, 2016, my son did it. Coach Ompong was there. Until yes. now, actually, until alam, now. Alam mo, you know, one of the things na sinasabi ko nga pinag-uusapan ng amin ng anak ko because my son was actually good enough to have played college basketball also eh, dito. No? Uh, he was being recruited. So, lagi kami nag-uusap about basketball. And yung pinag-uusapan namin is yung basics. How come nobody, uh, no, 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 yung kids nowadays don't spend too much time, don't spend a lot of time on basics? No, mm-hmm. and you know, sabi ko nga, yun nga eh, they they probably don't understand that the importance of basics is not so much that you know how to do the drill, but when you know, not everything is going to go well for you. There will come a time mm-hmm. magkakaroon ka ng mga mga slump, no? Mm-hmm. So if you have a very good foundation with the basics, that's that that will allow you to walk yourself back no and then try to see sanang malimo whether it be shooting dribbling passing no that is the importance of basics so you know malaking tulong talaga you know legendary yung ginawa ni coach coach Nick no na yeah. dito sa sa Philippines mm-hmm. yeah Galing ng mga comments, guys. Yung mga comments ng mga followers natin na nag-Milo Best sila. Mm. Sino ang mga naging coach sila? If you look at the comments, nakakatawa sila. Coach yeah. Ompong, Coach Hill, Coach oh. Orly, Coach Arlene, Coach Ato. Yes, tama. Diba? tama, tama. Pilit sa putong of the UP Women's Team. Yes, diba? tama. Yes, tama. Yes, tama. Sabi ni Rod, the usual. Marami so, talaga tumahan sa Milo Best sa, oh, sa, correct, correct. sa viewership natin. Yun lang yung ibig sabihin. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but but uh, who, who was going to ask? Uh, was that you, Jay? You were going to ask something already? Yeah, yeah. Uh, what was, yeah, what was because of your US coaching experience, did you bring in a certain technology uh, different from the from, from what was being taught by the other uh, coaches? Uh, one thing I learned from from coaching in the States was that they gave you they, they gave you the basics, mm-hmm. but they gave you a lot of freedom as well. Mm-hmm. They gave you a lot of freedom because oh, you know you have to you have to admit they're very athletic. The game in the states is a very athletic game, no. And you have you you'd be foolish as a coach not to take advantage of that, diba? Correct. You, know, you would be foolish kung sa sabi mo no, let's do it this way. Kailangan basic talaga ganito. Then you would be killing sh- shooting yourself in the foot, Ika nga, mm-hmm. no. Mm-hmm. You have to take advantage of that. No, that's why I think yung nangyari sa akin was, um, you know, bringing in some technology. No, some I I wouldn't say I adopted everything that I learned from the states. Uh, 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 to combine that with what I learned from Derek, combine that with what I learned from streetball, mm-hmm. and you come up with the 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 you know, the unique product that eventually, you know, uh, came out of me. No, mm-hmm. uh, yon. Nice, nice. Okay, then, 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 but then you, you mentioned yeah, so you talked about Eddie Viaplana, you talked mm-hmm. about so you go to the you go to the PBL, and then you mm-hmm. you did inherit that Burger Machine coaching yes. job. Successful ka dyan, coach. I mean, yeah. yes, yes. You know, the, the fact that you know, you know, si, uh, the late Dong uh, yes. no? and of course the late Bang Tom. <laughs> yes, si Bang Tom, mm-hmm. di ba? Wala na rin ngayon. Si Matt, that's that's Matt Makalintal in the back, smiling Makes over me... there. It's kind of bittersweet looking at this picture kasi, alam mo, si Dong, aside from him being a teammate of mine in college, mm-hmm. no, he was actually my best, best friend in the team. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. No? So, it, you know, yung, yung relationship namin was such that we would argue. Talagang nagsisigawan kami niyan. No? Nagsisigawan kami. No? Sabi ko, Dong, what is the point kung halimbawa hindi tayo mag-exchange ng ideas. Sometimes magkakaroon tayo ng init ng ulo sa isa't isa. But I would rather have that rather than yung peace pero hindi natin alam ginagawa natin sa loob. 
Mm-hmm. I mm-hmm. want to hear your you know, and that was the same 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 philosophy I had with my assistant coach mm-hmm. sa PBA, no? Ganun din. Sabi ko sa kanya, sa kanila, may nakita kayo sabihin niyo sa akin, no? Mm-hmm. What's the point kung nakikita natin the same thing? Yeah. Diba? Correct. Correct. Diba? Correct. So, Correct. tell me, tell me, tell me. No? And uh, yun, ang, I think one of the things na hindi ko dinala with regards to yung, kasi sometimes as Filipino coaches, there's yung pride. Mm-hmm. Pride comes in. Eh. No, if you're a coach, sometimes the, the, there is a mistake that a lot of coaches make na sinasabi na, okay, I'm the coach, I'm the leader, I'm the head of the team. No, no, you're not. You're just part of the unit. No? No? You're, you're at best an administrator. That is how I see it. No? You're there to implement your template. You're there to implement the system. But at the same time that you're implementing the system, you're trying to accomplish a goal. Diba? And in the process of trying to achieve that goal, no, there is often that tendency on the part of coaches to, to fall in love with their own voice. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. That is what you have to fight. That is what you have to fight. Labanan mo yon. Because the thing is, yung, yung, when, when you're coaching, the number one thing you have to do is listen. Mm-hmm. Some people will say, no, your job is to talk. Yes, yes, okay na. Yeah, dapat ka talaga, you know how to talk. You, you have a way with words. But you also have to listen. No? Right. And uh, and I'm proud na one of the things that I implemented with these players, uh, Burger Machine, even sa ano, talk to me, sa mga players. Mm-hmm. Because you're the guys in the trenches. Mm-hmm. Kumbaga, sa, kumbaga sa war, no, sa battlefield, I'm the lieutenant or maybe the captain. You're the soldier that's in the trenches. Nasa foxhole kayo. Diba? Mm-hmm. I'll be foolish kung hindi ko papakinggan na sasabihin na, this is what we're going to do. And then some soldier comes over to me uh, sabihin, sorry, we can't do that. Flank tayo dito. May tao dito. May mga kalaban tayo dito. You have to listen mm-hmm. to the people there because sila, silang nandun eh. Yeah. Yeah. Diba? So that is something that I implemented also, even sa PBA, no. Listen, listen, yeah. listen. Yeah, that's why we did we did brand you know uh, when we posted that you were guesting as a players coach, and uh, yeah. that's yeah. what that's how some of the players would refer to you that you were the players coach in, for them. That's a term that's very loosely used now, mm-hmm. but all the players want a players coach, a guy who listens, a guy who you can talk to. And all of that, of course, you have to strike a balance, coach, no? between yes. being a sort of a boss. Mm-hmm. You have to be a boss, talaga, but you also have to have that open, you know, uh, open, ears, lines open ears, open yeah. mind. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because, uh, coach, yeah. the, mem- the memories are all coming in. Huh? Ito, may mm-hmm. memory rito si, ano, si Vince Di Mayuga. Coach Perry, naalala mo ba nung nag-collapse si Judge Primero sa isang game niyo with Burger Machine yan? Burger yes, I believe yes. na nasiko ni Arnold Gamboa. I was there at Nino Aquino or something. Where... Yes, I remember that. No, uh, He actually <laughs> fell on his head, nasahod, bumagsak siya. And he wow. convulsed. Scary. Convulsion. Oh. So Scary. He, had to, he had to be rushed to uh, hospital ng Maynila at that mm-hmm. time. But he, he you know, he, he uh, was able to recover and uh, eventually he played in the NBA. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Kaya ilo-ilo yata. Ilo-ilo. Tama ba? Yeah. Yep. yeah, yeah. You, you were involved with the NBA, right, Charlie? No, I wasn't. My 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 relatives were uh, ah, for with the Iloilo okay. Volts, my uncle yes. Mari, and then uh, with the Cagayan de Oro amigos, the Canoes, the Kuna Canoes. Ah, yes, oh, yes, yes. Arena. So yeah, I wanted to commentate for the NBA, but I was still. But I just graduated from law school. Ano ano pa tayo yan? Ano bata pa ako nong? Di pa ako nakapasok sa sports casting. Yeah. So this is a challenge. Oh, sige, sige. Go, go, Sid. Like, coach, your, your path to coaching was pretty, ano, no, uh, unorthodox. I mean, parang mm-hmm. you struck it out on your own, no? Yeah. Pero, you know, um, who would you say influenced your most uh, coaching philosophy? Mo? Um, you know, it's weird because uh, actually, yung mga coaches that I idolized at that time, the coach that I really idolized at that time when I was learning how to coach, in the States, was si Pete Carell. Mm. Okay. Princeton. Yeah. Princeton. 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 Oh. 
no Correct. yung uh, backdoor you know reading what i got from him was how to prepare for a game how to prepare for a game and how to read defenses properly no uh, i also learned that from derek no pero nakita ko yung si Pete Carrell sabi ko sarap pag-aralan nito dahil clinic talaga every game eh. they would they would play against Georgetown and and then you know game would be 15 seconds left on the game and Georgetown would only be up by one no talagang mini milk yung clock but yung style wise I wouldn't say I was a uh, disciple kasi Iba yung style ko totally from from what he implemented. Uh, coach piggybacking lang sa question ni Sid, no? Um normally kasi yung yung style ng coaching nyo would require somehow major support from management. Kasi nung time na yun, alam, alam na natin 90s yan, hmm. uh, iba pa yung mindset na management noon eh, no? Hmm. Did, did you did you did you ever believe that the teams that you um uh you work for actually was a perfect fit for you? You know what? Yes, but I would say, kasi ganito eh, there were times that I would try to be my own man, uh-huh. meaning to say that uh, I would uh, go away or, or you know, go away from what they wanted to do. Uh-huh. But I always defended my position. No? If they come to me saying that this is what we want, no, I will tell them straight up, this I can do, this I cannot do. No, straight up. And I think, you know what? I think they uh, they um, appreciated the honesty. No, Sometimes kasi tayo mga Filipinos, tayo, no? and ako, sometimes guilty ako of that, lahat tayo. No? We have a tendency to sugarcoat our words para hindi ma-offend yung tao. No? Mm-hmm. And sometimes that's good, but in a competitive in a competitive environment like basketball, hindi pwede. You have to be very honest, no? Hindi pweding masyado kang mabait, no? So sometimes I remember this very well, no? Nung, like for example, sa Burger Machine. Uh, let me give this an example. It was a Three game series yata, three game series or four game, a uh, five game series. In the middle of the championship, uh, you, you, I think it's a game three or game two yata. Mm-hmm. I suspended our s- s- center, the only center we had at that time, mm-hmm. si Wilmer Ong, mm-hmm. in the middle of a championship series. Mm-hmm. No, I suspended him for one game. And sabi ko, okay, this is it. <laughs> Matatalo tayo, and then I'm out of a coaching job. Alis na ako, babalik na ako sa Amerika. Wouldn't you know it, it was a close game, and we won the game with, with the last second shot by Ronnie Kahanding. Okay. So that was perfect for me pagdating ng dugout. No? So I got my message across. Kaya natin manalo. No? Because we're a team. Mm-hmm. No? But, uh that was also the perfect time for me to say okay Wilmer balik na so ang taas ng kaagad you hit two birds with one stone you accomplish the victory no at the same time you bring the guy back in taas na ulit yung ano another high no yeah, yeah. so going into the next game taas na talaga ng moral uh, you pick your words carefully tapos yung sa shell yeah. naman nung nag Binigyan ako ni Charlie Fabis ng interview. No? Uh, uh, no, no, I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. Nung kinukuha ako nung 1995, no? I was recommended actually by Charlie Fabis. Mm-hmm. No? I remember very well, they called in yung, uh, what do you call that? The board. Yung board. Mm-hmm. Shell. Board. Mm-hmm. They were going to make the decision. They were interviewing people. So if you were to, if you were at that time, the Shell team was not doing very well. Correct. No, they asked me, okay, if you were to form a national team, who would be your twelve? Of course, who depends on who really wants to be there. But 
you know, if you want this hypothetical question, okay, sige, okay, I gave I gave names. Sabi niya, do you realize that you do not have one shell player there? Sabi ko, I base my decision on merit. Sabi ko, no? So I base my decision on merit. Nobody's deserving at this time. Diba? Who knows? Mm-hmm. Next year, kung pwede. Diba? Yeah. They, pero, I think they appreciated the honesty. Eh. Mm-hmm. Hindi ako nagpasikot-sikot. Yeah. Eh. Kung baga, parang gano'n. Mm-hmm. So, so, wala si Benji para sa sa listahan nyo? Nung umpisa, because ang pangit na laro. Remember, nung pumasok kami yeah. sa Shell, mm-hmm. uh, Shell hadn't won anything in like three years yata. 92 yeah, yeah, sila yes. na nalala. Eh, no? 92, yeah. right, right. 93, 94, 95, parang bagsak sila. Eh. Yes, correct. Parang bagsak sila. Eh. In fact, nung pumasok kami sa Shell, no, uh, si Chito Narvasa implemented yung three hours result ah oh, no, I'm sorry uh reorientation uh the organization and oh, yeah. results. Results, something uh, like that something uh, like that oh, no so and eventually you know we were able to make the finals of the 1996 uh, commissioners mm-hmm. cup yata no yeah so mm-hmm. that was the start dan dan and we started rebuilding the team mm-hmm. may speaking of former shell uh coaches and players and nanonood ngayon Joey Guanyo Hi, Joey. Kamusta? Mm. Oh, nako. Yan, si Joey. Nako po, maraming storya kami ni Joey. <laughs> nako. I, I wish we had the time for that, all of that. Si <laughs> Pogi, po, ano Lord yan, nanonood. Okay. Okay. Ano, Lord. Oh, Coach, yeah. Very quickly lang, ano, itong yeah. uh, championship celebration trophy niyo. Sino yung dalawang sumisilip sa ilalim? Si uh, <laughs> Matt, ah, hindi, hindi, si Matt Makalintal. Ay, si Matt si sa likod, Coach. Eh. Si Agapito oh. yata. Agapito sa kanan. Agapito sa kanan. Hindi ko alam. Sa left. Kasi Who's the guy? Si ball, ball boy yata <laughs> namin, si Ace or something. Oo, oh, yung baka nga. Ano, kasi nakapans. Long, eh. long si Long David sa kaliwa. no? Long David sa kaliwa. Kala ko noon na si Alain Malik. Sa so, kanan, si Agapito. Then you see Long David again on the right. Who's the guy with the towel? Here? On this yeah, side? The on the, the right, right side. The right That's Boise. Boise Zamar. Boise Zamar, right? Yeah, Boise Zamar. Oh, okay. This yeah, is yeah, uh, yeah. Long. I think this is Long David yeah. as well. Si Long, you're sa kanan, coach. Oh, and then si yeah. Aga Pito. Mm-hmm. Only for si Aga. Lahat yan okay. nakapasok ng PBA except si George yes, Pinero. Yes. So, but si, si, si Coach Boise as a coach na. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So, not as a player. He was drafted, but... Uh, yeah. I, I believe... Uh, they, won, they won last night. Pala. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they won. They won last night. That's right. Oh, no, this is a, guys, let's just take a short break. No? This is uh, the time capsule that we're looking at. And uh, we remind everybody we're part of the Global Ebola Network. You can watch and listen to us on Spotify. Please send us some love. Rate us with a five-star rating on Spotify. Uh, become our monthly supporter. Go down to the, the, on the Spotify page. There's a link. You can be our supporter for uh, only $4.99 or 250 bucks a month. And then uh, we welcome the new member of Global Ebola YouTube, Dylan Thomas Paul Yu. Sana madagdagan pa. We will acknowledge you on the show as well as we move forward. And then, what's next? You know, Globally Balling Southeast Asia on Facebook. Please follow that because there's tidbits of all the different shows on the Globally Balling Network, including an eternity of basketball. Okay, balik tayo sa time capsule, no? Mm-hmm. Uh, tuloy natin yung time capsule. So from, from, from the PBL, some success there. Then, you, as you mentioned, you already mentioned, you interviewed with Co- with Coach uh, with Charlie Fabis and then the Shell Board and... And then they took you on as an assistant for a few years. Mm-hmm. Eventually, you become the head coach. So let's go. Let's go into the time cap. Second part of the time capsule. This was taken, I suppose, in the states, no? Yes, yeah, a Pratt Pratt Institute. Yeah, yeah. A Pratt, yeah. So this is yeah. nine, about nineteen ninety one. So there you are, coaching. At least, may may na kuhang photo during that time, <laughs> di ba? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, alam mo hindi sa states eh. Ay alam mo hindi sa Pinas yung picture kasi naka long sleeves ka coach. Meron na isang player yan naka naka display yung uniform sa rafters eh. Uh, oh, naglaro yeah. sa PBA before from Pratt si Larry Williams Royal Throw Orange. Mm-hmm. Yung may gap oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 1970 so yeah yeah. yeah. Nice coach, you know. Let's go to the next photo yeah. as you continue your questions. Oh, your next photo na Carly. Briefly, no, no, before no. you joined Shell 95, you were also named to the Hiroshima Asian yep. Games. Uh, no, no. Yes, yeah. yes, Akima, yes. No? Oh, How did yes. that uh, come about? Uh, they wanted one uh, amateur assistant. Okay. No? And um, for some reason, no, uh, they chose me. No? And again, <laughs> no, I, mean, I was, I, I guess, at the right place at the right time. 
no? So they gave me they gave me a chance to be an assistant coach for the national team, and uh, I'd like to thank San Miguel for at least mm-hmm. you know, and uh, Coach Nick Jorge was with the BAP at that time for giving me a chance also, no? Uh, that was a great experience. That was a great experience. How how were you chosen for that coach? Were you, was I, there an interview? Or? I I don't know how I was chosen exactly. No, okay. uh, all I know is that I got a call from the BAP ata, no, telling me that they wanted oh, me that. in, and yeah. then I spoke with Norma and he gave me a call, and um, that was it. No, <laughs> after nice. that, that after that experience, no, uh, you know, the following year, that was when they interviewed mm-hmm. me for for Shell. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I guess oh, nakatulong din sa ano mo yun, ano? Malaki, sa malaking, review mo, ano? Malaking tulong, malaking tulong talaga. No? It's unfortunate that we weren't able to win a medal. Yeah. Uh, yeah, pero, yeah. pero, you know, uh, it was a great experience, learning experience. Yeah. Coach, Coach just to let you know, si Bertie Desenas watching already. Oh, hi, Bertie. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Bertie, baka late ka nag-tune in. Na-mencho ka na kanina ni, ni Coach. <laughs> <laughs> Ikaw ang witness ko, Bernie. Nakalaro ko yung mga lumang-lumang-lumang players sila Bonnie Carbonell dati. <laughs> Kalaro natin sa Lasal uh, Sunday Club. Mm-hmm. Uh, we'll talk about uh, yung Shell na team na to. Mm-hmm. No? Before you, ano, what was the culture like in Shell? Sabi mo kasi losing, losing ano kayo, years uh-huh. eh, mag-mwaso kayo eh. What was the culture like back then? Okay. Um, it was a, it was a, uh, Night and day yung 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 uh, ano tawag dito yung uh, approach I guess no mm-hmm. I was more tahimik no and si Chito was more volatile mm-hmm. he got the results mm-hmm. you know with you know what he what he you know with his with his personality mm-hmm. no but I always knew that I was going to have to coach with my personality hindi mm-hmm. pwedeng iba no yeah. it had to be my personality that's the only way you can succeed so uh, i did things the first thing i did was to talk to the superstars when they handed me over the position and they told them sabi ko look we're going to have to do this and i'm going to need your i'm going to need your inputs i'm going to need your your cooperation okay we're going to do this. I promise you, we're going to do this. Just, just be, uh, just, just give me a chance to be able to show you, you no, know, what we in the coaching staff can do. You know, first assistant Skujan was, of course, see Joey, see Bobby Parks, see Herc Calianta, mm-hmm. and later mm-hmm. on, see Jig Mendoza. No, so they really helped me out. Young players, you know, I tried to streamline their roles, made sure alam nila yung roles nila talaga. I had a five, no, and uh, rotation. My six man, seventh man, ako coming off the bench of all Filipino. My Romel Santos ka coming mm-hmm. uh, from the from the uh, bench to spell Noy or Jerry, and then you have a junior mm-hmm. son. So yung seven ko set na set eh. mm-hmm. When it was an import conference, I would slide down Noy to uh, become the sixth man, no. And then I would have John Bess and Donald Williams take over uh, Vic Pablo's spot and uh, Noy Castillo's spot. No? Uh-huh. There were no qualms. Alam mo, there has never been a team. We were, sige, yes, yes, may mga talent yung players, no? Pero this was a hardworking team that really knew how to play with each other. No? Uh-huh. They respected each other. And, uh, you know, you can have the best players on a team. But if you don't have the chemistry, wala talaga. Eh. Yes, yes. Wala talaga. Eh. No, you can you cannot you cannot force chemistry. They had it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And I guess you 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 played a big big factor in that. Coach, I, I need you to talk about John Best because a week ago he talked a lot about you and he mentioned yeah. you that he, your big impact uh, on his life and yes. you influenced him in everything that he does up to today. So, can you talk about John Best a bit? You know, when we took John Best in no, in 1996 yata or 97, no, I was still an assistant coach. We kind of developed a relationship because so this is the kind of player I want to coach. 
because he works very hard in practice. I've never seen anybody work as hard no, in practice. No? You have to remember, he's coming in from the States. It's the middle of summer in the Philippines. We practice kami sa Acropolis or sa Green Meadows. Talagang drenched in sweat. Yeah, right. He would work so hard, so hard. I had to, alam yung term na renda. No? Mm-hmm. Rinerendahan ko na sila eh. Pero, you know, he would work so damn hard that everybody else, no? It's not I'm not saying that they didn't work hard. The other players worked hard. Pero if you see your import working doubly hard, lahat nagtatrabaho rin ng ganon eh. So, yung influence niya with the team was, no, he was one of them. I remember there were times that he would tell the guys, okay, on me, let's go uh, have uh, dinner sa Tongyang niya tayo yun, or <laughs> somewhere <laughs> in Mega Mall. No? Oh, you know, yeah. he, would, he would take the whole team, sige, kain sila, no? There was a chemistry to that team that uh, even now I cannot explain. You know, they genuinely loved each other. Mm-hmm. They genuinely loved each other, and they knew the rules. They mm-hmm. knew the rules. So, see, si John, you know, I got in touch with him uh, through Facebook, and I was very happy that I was able to reconnect with him. Now, in fact, nagita kami sa San Francisco together with uh, Vince. Yeah, with Vince. Yeah, we showed yeah, the photo. Uh, yes, uh, uh, that was Vince, fun. Uh, was fun. Yeah. It was fun reminiscing. You know? Talagang si JB is not a former player. He's a friend. Mm-hmm. I do not consider all of them. In fact, sinasabi ko nga sa kanila, you know, don't call me coach anymore. Magkakaedad <laughs> naman tayo eh. Yes, call me by my first name. <laughs> they call me by my first name. Sabi ko, we're friends. You know? Magkakaibigan tayo. Uh, Who was responsible for bringing in Chris Jackson? To the team. Kasi no, he was he was yeah. traded he was traded uh, when I was still an assistant yep. coach. Okay. Uh, the last part of 1997. Okay. <coughs> he was traded uh, to us together with uh, Jerry Esplana. Correct. And then I yeah. think Sironi left, and I do not who do, know who the other person. Oh, was. I can't oh, remember. Uh, two for two. Eh. Parang ganon eh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, that made everything easier for us. Then, you know, si Chris, I, I think, you know, ask any player who played against Chris, no? I I will tell, siguro, next to, ano, you know, next to nobody, as far as I'm concerned, nobody comes close, no? As far as yung intelligence niya with, with the game, he plays the game with this. No? Mm-hmm. He, you know, he kind of reminds me, sabi ko nga, I, I, mean, I, I, had a, I told him this once or sa post yata sa Facebook, sabi ko, he reminds me a lot of Draymond Green. With, you know, he does, he facilitates the court from the top of the key. No? He will hit a shot. He's not primarily known as a shooter, but when you need a shot, he will make a shot. Diba? He does the dirty work. He defends the biggest scorer on the other team. Yeah. No? The only thing he doesn't do is you know, do uh, the things, the crazy things that Raymond Green does. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, yeah, yeah. fine with me. Talagang, ano, ibang klase si Chris. Ibang uh, klase. I was just checking, you know, it says, it says here that uh, the trade was uh, Esplana Jackson for Ronnie and next year's first round pick. There you go. Mm-hmm. 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 I don't. I don't remember who the next round. No, uh, the oh. next year's pick was. No. First round pick. No. Oh. Shell. Ah, no. So ninety nine, no. Oh. Ninety seven. Oh. Ninety seven. Oh. Oh. Yeah, na three. Dama. Okay. Oh, oh. Nine, for ninety. Ah, siya no. Ninety eight siya no. Si Dick, Daniel De Fonsa, niba? No, no, yeah, oh, no. No, I'm not going. No, he was the first. Oh, no, he was the first oh. round, and then. Oh. Tama nga ba? So there were two mm, ko na alam eh. that, uh, ano. Basta Noy and uh, Danny I were mm-hmm. one to notice, di ba? Yeah. A lot of trades happen behind the scenes. <laughs> Escape me right now kung ano man niya. Pero clarify yeah, yeah, ko yeah. nga yung coach kasi parang yun yung pero medyo konting confusion sa history. Eh. Mm. You drafted Danny Aldefonso first, right? So you went up the stage. Hindi ako, Danny, right? hindi pa akong coach nun eh. Ah, okay. It was still Chito. 
So, no? so kasi ang drafting noon uh-huh. was done uh, December yata. Remember, okay. I did not start as head coach of Shell in January 2000, ah, 1998. I did not. Yeah, later. I I uh, took over with four games left uh-huh. in the All Filipino. Yung first conference. Okay. No? Uh-huh. So, no, uh, kinuha si Danny Ildefonso, no? Kinuha si Danny Ildefonso I think with the end in mind of trying to get uh, Noy and somebody else. Something like that. No? Mm-hmm. And, mm-hmm. Pero uh, I don't know. It didn't work out. It ended up being a one-on-one yata or something happened. No, uh, tama, tama ko. I think there was mm-hmm. another person oh. involved in the draft. No? Pero I think oh. Ron Jacobs was adamant in wanting to get uh, Danny I for San oh. Miguel. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, yes. yes. That turned out well no, for them. <laughs> no, yeah, that turned out well for everybody. Sabi ko nga, no? so Danny had a great career. Player ko rin si Danny sa Burger Machine before. Eh. Oh, yes. Mm, correct. He was brought by uh, Dong Vergere. He was brought in by Dong Vergere. He was a young kid. Payat ni Danny Ay. No? Yeah, yeah. But meron na siyang, ano, I, uh, eventually, you know, I didn't really give him that much playing time. No? But in the playing, you know, in the times that I would give him, the, the minutes that I would give him, he always showed what he could do. So we had no 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 uh, no doubt he was going to be a superstar. Coach, nung nag, uh, pumasok ka sa Shell, naging head coach ka na. So mm-hmm. obviously, before before the games, after the games, you have to shake hands with all these coaches and then you're playing, mm-hmm. basically playing chess against the other coach. Yes. Uh, who, are, who are the coaches that, that intimidated you or, or, or were there any? Well... Intimidation factor, not really intimidated, but you know, um, or respected, uh, respected, More. respected. I really respected Yang, si Ron, si Jong Wichiko, si Tim Kuhn, Norman Black, all these guys. And I right. also had the chance to coach against my former coach, si Derek. I think mm-hmm. at that time he was coaching Santa Lucia, yata, yeah, 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 late so, 90s. So. So, you know, um, these are all coaches that uh, I stole a little bit from. <laughs> diba? And, uh, you know, uh, it's a fraternity. The coaching was a fraternity. I kind of miss it sometimes, you know, to be honest with you. But, you know, these guys are, you know, play, people that uh, were leaders. They were leaders. And the, the, some of them... Uh, orthodox had orthodox style. Some of them had uh, unique quirks, but mm-hmm. you know you learn from those. No, you learn from those. Never you nakalabas sa ni si Coach ni. Na one time, yes. Na one time yata. <laughs> one time yata. No. Uh, kung hindi ako nakakamale, that was his last year, eh, ninety eight. Eh. Okay, mm-hmm. but prior to yeah. running from the Senate. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, right before I, taking a leave, na. Huh? Oh, Did you before, win? Hindi ko na matandaan eh. Before 1990, no, he, he left in second conference yata of 1998. Parang late, ganun, to run for late, Senate. Late yes. first conference. Uh, oh, 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 oh. So I only, yeah. I think I only coached against him once or twice. No, I think one, Malala, one on kami. Hindi ko lang matandaan eh. Hindi ko na matandaan. Malala niyo yun, coach, kasi kapag gumanon na sa inyo, hindi ko mentadong si Ang Ginebra. Natatandaan ko, no, there was one game na gumanon nga si Coach Sunny dahil alam ko, alam ko, trademark niya yun eh. Yeah. Pero tumakbo ko out of respect. Tumpunta ako doon sa kanya to shake his hand. Oh. Yeah, oh. Kumakaway nga lang. I remember now, oh, ano, kumakaway lang pala siya. Tama yun. Tama yun. Talo. Talo. Sige na, sige na. Sige na, sige na. Naghanda na siyang sabunin yung mga player niya siguro. <laughs> sa dugout. Pero eh, pag panalo, sige, kamayan tayo. Diba? Uh, uh, coach, coach, actually, ano pala, ano, uh, after you won the 1998 new third conference with of course with John Best and, and Donald Williams 
Uh, pero, you know, um, there are some will say na 98, eh, hindi naman kompleto ang Alaska nun eh. Or, you know, mm-hmm. uh, there was a centennial team, maraming yes. uh, mm-hmm. superstars who weren't with their mother teams. But then the following conference, all Filipino 1999, mm-hmm. wala, ka, wala na si John Best and Donald Williams. You won again. Uh, against uh, Tanduay. Oh, again, against Standway pa, no? Oh, may import. Standway, oh. Kahit mali import kong gerasyon. Sige na nga, oh, may, oh, may import nga pala yun kayo. Oh. Nagkalaban nyo. Nagkalaban <laughs> nyo may import. Oh, pero ang practice pa rin was that. Oh, sige. sige ito, ito yung ano, no? 1990, ito sa step-by-step process, eh. Talo kami sa Centennial Cup sa Mobiline. One point. And then, we had to win. Sabi ko, we have to win this, yung sa Governor's Cup. There was a motivation there for me. Behind the scenes ito. Alam mo, during the eliminate the, the semifinals of the Governor's Cup, no, no, I received the call November 20. I received the call from the States. It was my brother. Sabi niya, Perry, bad news. Sabi ko, no. Your uh, mommy is dying. My mom was dying. Diagnosed with cancer. No? Five days siguro left at the most or one week, no? So wala na rin, hindi na rin ako makakapunta, no? So I talked to my mom every day. Kinakausap ko yung mom ko. And I made the promise to him, sabi ko, we will win the championship for you. I guarantee it, we will win the championship for you, no? Sinabi ko sa mommy ko yon, pero hindi ko sinabi sa, sa press pa na ganon, no? And then... Nung elimination game, we were we were had to go through an elimination game with San Miguel, no? Nakuha ni Daniel Defonso yung bola. If you remember that first game, eliminated na dapat kami. Nakuha ni Daniel in Defonso yung bola. Went up for a shot at point blank range, and all of a sudden nag eject sa in front of him si Donald Williams to block the shot. So I was so emotional pagdating sa dugout. Sabi ko, guys, thank you. I promised my mother we were gonna win it. Maybe that helped them, you know, help them, uh, you know, gave them some more inspiration. But, you know, I was, I was, personally, I was possessed. I wanted to win the championship. No? <laughs> no, si Patrick Fran made that, sh- uh, took that last shot, last shot in game seven with a couple of seconds left. No? If he makes, makes that shot, paralo sila Game 7 of that series. Nandun ako sa kabila. I was on the other side of the bench. Here, dun siya nagtitake ng shot. I had a straight line. I was directly behind Patrick Flan. When he took that shot, diretso yung bola eh. Diretso talaga yung bola. Pero the last words nga that came out of my mouth, and I will, I, 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 I tell this to everybody who cares to listen, sabi ko, the last words out of my mouth were, Mami. <laughs> he was she was already dead at this time, no? About two, three days or four days, yata. Mommy. And then for some reason, di ko alam kung imagination o ano, pero yung bola parang lumihis eh. And I, I've had a chance to tell Patrick Fran about this, no? Natawa nga si Patrick, sabi niya, yeah, your mom was there. Dahil tingin niya rin, papasok na yung bola eh. Tingin ko talaga, pasok na eh. Tingin ko talaga, pasok na. So nung, yung, ano naman, yung sa... All Filipino. Uh, remember yung NBA? You went the mm-hmm. NBA. Yeah. NBA yep. came in in 98. Yep. Ang lakas na dating ng NBA. Even mm-hmm. as PBA players, pag mga out-of-town game kami, no? NBA, PBA players, uh, we would, just, alam mo yung mga tourist buses, di ba? Team buses. Pinapanood uh-huh. namin ng NBA because it was so exciting. No? I think yung naging knee-jerk reaction ng PBA at that time was 1999. Sige, hindi na kailangan dumaan sa draft. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. You know, everybody hire. could direct get hire. a direct mm-hmm. hire. Mm-hmm. You're given until December 31, 1999 to get a direct hire. No, All the teams were able to get a direct hire. Mm-hmm. Hindi kami nakakuha ng direct hire until five oh. days before matapos ang taon. So we played the whole year without a direct hire. And, and who was that? Tony De La Cruz. Tony TBS. TBS. And he, he, he played the following year, na, nine, na 2000. Na. Mm-hmm. So we played that that all Filipino, no? Uh, that 
following year uh, the following San conference Miguel. yung versus San Miguel wala kaming ano wala kaming wala kaming uh, direct hire for that year it was just them the players just stuck together sabi ko nga eh, i remember this sabi ko we can either be the the laughing stock of this year or the you know the the biggest miracle of this year like, up to us it so, was the latter, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> so they decided. Is that the? Do you consider these championships, coach, the pinnacle of your coaching career? Yes. You know, you're as a coach, you're always judged by your wins and you know your wins, no, um, your your victories. And in a, in a sense, I I kind of disagree with that because in the end, you really want to make sure your your players, you know, are are so much. I mean, basketball is just a small fraction of your life eh. you want them to be successful yeah. Yeah. later so, yeah. so, on championships huh? oh but no as far as basketball is concerned no it was you know the, the no ifs and buts you know you're judged by your results so in a way you know the, 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 it was it, you know the, the, i would say that winning the all filipino was just mm-hmm. special <laughs> Always you know, talaga, no? Pag, pag all Filipino, yun lagi pinaka-special, di ba, Sid? All okay. the coaches, no? All the players. Right, right. na hindi naman talaga all Filipino yung kalaban yes. ng, ng shell, no? Mas no, no. <laughs> lalo siguro matangang yun. Diba? Parang reinforced, eh, yung kalaban. Hindi, pero hindi, seriously, coach, yung, you're the front line you went up against, no? no? Eric Meng. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. Sunny Alvarado. Mm-hmm. No? Uh, but at the same time, I know, Benji was very vocal against uh, all of this, you know, Phil Amson oh, coming oh, in. Yes. And he actually went, won the MVP then that yes. year. So, so, uh, I'm, yeah, may, I'm sure starts. they added motivation uh, sa kanya. Yes. Oh, tsaka, tsaka, ano mo, one, of, one of the things that uh, that really motivated the team was, no, aside from the fact na, hey, wala tayong, wala tayong, ano, wala tayong uh, direct hire, was the fact that you know, only one person can have the ball. No, we have to have players on the court, meaning to say players that are going to contribute, even if they do not have the ball. Mm-hmm. And I felt at that time, no, that even if they had an overwhelming advantage in speed, no, and athleticism and size, I felt that we had an experience, an advantage with regards to experience and. Yung, yung smarts, no? Yes, correct. First game of that championship series, we lost by 10 points. Hindi ako nagkakamali. We couldn't get... You know. I remember Ronnie Nathaniels asking me, who do you want to face? Sabi ko, you know, it's a choice between... You're asking me if I want to face Muhammad Ali or Mike Tyson. One can beat you. <laughs> so, sa Alaska, no, 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 Sabi ko, Tandoy is like Mike Tyson can beat you up with one punch. So sabi ko, <laughs> so nung natalo kami, I did something nung first game, I did after the first game, I did something na a lot of players or a lot of coaches probably would say I was stupid for doing. No, mm-hmm. pero called everybody, sabi ko, coaches call. Coaches call. We're going to make our you were going to play differently. Kasi nung eliminations, tinatambakan kami ng tanday, but we were, you know, we won games and we were a running team. <coughs> nung sec, after the first game, sabi ko, okay, coaches call. We lose this series on me. Talo tayo. Pero, we're going to change the game. We're going to slow it down. The, the the objective is to bore the hell out of them because I didn't think they knew how to play a slow game. Mm-hmm. Ang exact term ko was make sure we force the fans to take out their magazines at magbasa na lang sa boredom. So, mm-hmm. so, so, and we knew how where to attack. Si Jerry, that was the main guy. Sabi mm-hmm. namin, we attacked from Jerry. No? Uh, take advantage of his experience and it give them a different look. No? Because all of a sudden, yung guardja ang nagpo-post, yung mga malalaki, si Chris Jackson ang nagsiset up to bring out 
the big men, big men out, and you know, uh, they knew how to adjust in team. They just adjusted one game, two games, you know. And I just, I think they just, you know, Tanduay just wasn't able to to adjust back, you know, because you mga players nga, they were so so intelligent. If I, if you you ask me, kung magagawa ko yun with younger players, I don't think magagawa. Ko. Mm-hmm. I was lucky enough to have players who were my age. <laughs> diba? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Si Chris Jackson is about my age. Esplano is about my age. 34. Yeah, Benji. Oh. Benji. Si, pa- si Pablo, si Paras, they were 31, 32. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Marsan was about the same age. Ganun then. So Very mature. Oh, oh exactly. <coughs> Hindi ko magagawa yun if I was talking to, let's say, mga 20-year-olds. Mm-hmm. So, you want a four, you want a four two series, no four two ang ang four, tali yeah. Yeah. Yes, and, and did, so, did you see bro, no? I, I, I think that, that was very ano naman apparent that Tanduay's weakest link was the guard core, mm-hmm. no. Mm-hmm. So in your major strength, no, that you had over Tanduay was Jerry Esplana, basically. Yes. Uh, and if you like, notice, mm-hmm. if you notice the games, no, if you notice the games, um, whenever the guards would bring the ball up, sabi ko full court pressure tayo. Full Correct. court on the guards, force them to make decisions from yeah, the backcourt. Yeah. Force them to yeah. make decisions from the backcourt because I don't think they'll be able to make decisions quickly mm-hmm. with 12, 14 seconds left on the clock. Panic yeah, shots, yeah, yeah. Na, no? Panic shots rather than setting up, no? And it, I think na bore yung mga big men nila waiting for the ball because nandun eh. No, so you know, uh, pero you know, everybody from 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 the first man all the way up to the last man, last man, they they knew what the role was. They knew when they were going to come in. Sila Joel Duala, they knew. Mm-hmm. Alam nila, I'm going to probably play five five minutes, but yung five minutes na yon is to spell Chris Jackson. Okay, mm-hmm. di ba? Iba yun eh, pag alam ng player what they they have to do. Nahulog para yung bata from the lower box kasi kukunin yung t-shirt na binato sa crowd. <laughs> then, then Mrs. Mrs. from Rene Alforque and Jason Webb. No? So, yeah. Yeah, that final yeah. immortalized uh, Coach Perry Ronquillo. That means yes, oh, I yes. don't think so. Uh, <laughs> in in <laughs> PB, <laughs> PB Annals. Oh. Diba? Uh, in well, in the Superstar kayo ng Coach. Oh, well, yeah, yeah. Uh, it was a fun experience, to be honest with you. It's a fun experience. I was lucky to have been given that chance. You know, I never look at myself as being mm, special. I guess it all boils down to yung sinabi nga sa akin ng father ko nung lesson na kinikout siya nung college ni Chito uh-huh. Calvo. I was telling Charlie earlier, no? Sabi niya sa akin, wag lalaki ulo mo. So, habang, you know, the more success you have, the more you rein it in, no. I was just lucky enough to have been given a chance right, right. To, to have this job. No? But I'm no, you, it, no more special than everybody else. You, know, you had a special bunch of players too, you know, uh, oh, yes. who helped you. I mean, yes. obviously, yes. you mentioned it already, you know, all these great names, and some not so great names, but they played well enough to, to help, right? Yes. Along yes. the way. You know, sila, si Benji, how, how, how often does that happen? I think si Benji would tell me, Coach, go away from me. No? Then take the concentration off of me. Lagay natin dito. Si Vic naman muna tayo, Coach. I think we can get a mismatch out of Vic. As I get, again, no, you listen to your mm-hmm. players. No? Mm-hmm. So, right, right. you know, they were helping each other out. Eh. Si Vic naman, you know, Vic, Vic can be a scorer. Mm-hmm. You, you think about it, di ba? Yes. Correct. But he yeah. sacrificed his game. He did what had needed to be done. Right, right, right. Sinoy had to have, you know, touches to be able you know, to be able to score from the three. Pero he understood also na si Jerry or si Benji had to be the option. No? So, yeah. you know, they yeah. understood their roles very well. No? How, Same how, thing how much, with my import, yeah. How much faith do you have on Benji going up against Menk and Alvarado? Well, from a defensive standpoint, he only had to play against one. No, mm-hmm. it's, it's either a Menk or Alvarado. No, kasi yung isa, I don't remember. I think I put uh, 
I put uh, they were they always had three people. No? Si Benji, yeah. si Benji is a good health defender. Mm-hmm. No? Pero pag one on one, he has a tendency to foul. Correct. So yeah. I put him on Canton Hose, I put him on Telan. No? So he would be the good, you know, a good health defender. He can leave his guard. Tapos si Pablo would be on Mink. Jackson would be on Alvarado. Wow. That was the, the thing. So you put him where he can help the best. Yeah. And that is to become a health defender. Yeah. Yun, yun. May Chris Jackson kasi. Oh, 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 may si Chris Jackson eh. Oh, Stone Chris Jackson, you know, I'm trying to get him on the show too. So I gotta, I gotta talk Stonewall, to that guy. Stonewall but, Jackman, diba? CJ so, with, after all that, you had that success coach, so, diba? And, uh, a lot of people are asking, bakit hindi tumagal ang coaching career mo mm-hmm. beyond that? No, what happened? Nung uh, 2000, uh, 2003, no? the team ju- just wasn't doing an- doing very well anymore. No, I think it had come to a point where um, hindi na ako makarelate. Hindi na rin sila makarelate sa akin. It was a totally new team. No, uh, that's what I was saying a while ago. Chemistry. Sometimes mm-hmm. chemistry happens out of the blue. You can't explain it. Eh. No, uh, you know um, when that opportunity came along, sabi ko, uh, sabi ko, I had one year left on my contract. I had one year left on my contract. So, so they, I think they were trying to bring in John Moran. Mm-hmm. John yeah. Moran. So, sabi, uh, if I wanted to be uh, a consultant or something, and he would be the head coach. I, I am always the type of player, uh, the type of coach or the type of person na, if you're going to have a break, let's make it a clean break. Mm-hmm. Ganon tayo. Hindi na yung wala nang consuelo di po. Wala nang ganon. No? Mm-hmm. Let's make it clean. No? Because that would be unfair to him as well. Pag nananalo, sasabihin na, na si coach. Or pag natatalo, kasi sinasabotahin ni coach. I didn't want to be part of that anymore. Kung eto na, et, then go with him. That's fine with me. No? I did not I did not have any hard feelings about it. In fact, nung umalis ako, tayimik lang ako, hindi naman ako nagsasalita. People were asking me, coach, ano ba talaga nangyari? Eh, ganun eh. They exercised mm-hmm. their their preference. Uh-huh. No, being the corporation, they they said they wanted the new coach. So I said, that's fine. Okay, then yeah. let me go my way. And then I decided to bring my family to the Philippines, to to the states. Because my uh-huh. anak noon, they were in their teens. Yung yung pinakamatanda ko was in her teens. I thought that, that I was going to be able to transfer yung citizenship ko sa kanila immediately. No, uh-huh. even if they were born in the states, ah, in the Philippines, yung pala hindi pwede. Because there was a rule, uh, uh, an American uh, rule, uh, law, that said that if for an American citizen parent to transfer citizenship to his child born outside the United States, no, eh, the, the parent must have stayed in the U.S. for a total of five years, three years of which should have been after the age of 15. <laughs> Okay. Eh, hindi ko na ano eh, kulang ako lang a few years here and there. No? Mm-hmm. So sabi ko, okay, then I have to petition them. Sabi, may loophole ka. What's your loophole? You have to go to the States, petition your kids. Pagdating ng kids mo dun sa America, the moment they step on American soil sa, em- sa, eh, sa airport, stamp lang sila, they become American citizens. So dual din sila, in effect. No? Because mm-hmm. they, didn't have to, they didn't have to swear. Or anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kasi yung mother okay. nila Filipino. And at the same time, ako Filipino rin naman ako eh. No? Yeah. Dual nga. So, that's my daughter, si Bea. Siya yung mm-hmm. daughter ko na na I wanted to bring to New York. Kaya lang, yeah, yeah. Ng sign you want? Na, oh. oh, sabi ko, oh. wag na lang doon na tayo sa Pilipinas. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, that's just, that's a baby-baby baby pa siya dyan. Eh. Ngayon, ano oh. na siya. Uh, Full uh, grown adult. Oh yes. yes. <laughs> uh, happy, happy about that, Melanie. So your whole family is there in the states with you. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Coach. They're all here. They're all here. And what uh, keeps you busy? Um, after you know, when I when I came here, 
the first thing I did was uh, I worked for uh, a retail store. Actually, I worked for Target. I was a front office manager, and then after that, I became a part of the the cash office, bookkeeping. No, you're in charge okay. of money that goes goes in, no, and comes out, no, balance bulatyon. So after that, I left Target and became a substitute teacher. No, this was when my kids were already, you know, professionals. A couple of years ago, mm-hmm. starting 2018, no, uh, they were already charting their own path. Malalaki na sila. They they had their careers. No, the one some were in college, pero tinatapos na nila yung college nila. So I had some health problems, and I told myself, you know, I kind of have to take it a little slower. Na hindi mm-hmm. na ayoko nang ay ito sa choice sabi ko kailangan medyo mag-relax na rin ako ng konti winding down no pero ibig ko sabihin I do not plan to retire yet just yet no matagal-tagal pa pero you know there are some things I still want to do but not as an employee anymore maybe go into mm-hmm. some business or something no uh-huh. I'm not uh-huh. at liberty to say yet what it is uh-huh. pero, <laughs> Okay. Pero, <laughs> yeah, pero yeah. you know, I'm I want to do something else, no? Uh, mm-hmm. Substitute teaching is fun, but it can be stressful, especially with the current environment in the U.S. It can be a little stressful. Nothing related mm-hmm. to sports, coach. Yung plan niya. Nothing related to sports. Uh, hindi naman siguro. No? Okay. I mean, it comes, you know, it comes and goes. Misas as a win, gonna go. You can do this <laughs> part time while you're actually doing your business or your whatever it is that you want. You have you have planned. Maybe no may sabay. Even if, in fact, while I was working, ito, eh, totally hindi naman ako talaga umalis sa basketball because, uh, you know, once in a while, yung mga coaches, sa uh, yung mga play, yung mga parents, yung mga mga bata, no, mm-hmm. you see me, and then they would ask, uh, coach, can you teach our kid how to play. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, pero ikaw lang, ha? Sabi ko, I don't want the whole class. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It becomes stressful, eh. Sabi ko, ikaw lang. Right. Okay. Uh, coach, magkano <laughs> rate mo? Ito, rate ko. Ganito. Okay. Pero tayo lang, okay? Don't tell anyone else. No, kasi, kasi Leave it a decision. Kasi it becomes a job. And when it becomes yeah, a job, yeah. it becomes It's not fun. Job. It's not oh, fun. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Exactly, exactly. Oh. But coach, ano? Uh, uh, tanong kita. Cup, cup, well, two pronged question. Mm-hmm. Who's who's the toughest coach that you faced, and who is the best player you coached? Well, the toughest uh, coach that I faced, uh, be- just because he was very unpredictable, and he could do, you know, he could he could do so much with with. You know, n- uh, with <laughs> players <laughs> that weren't really superstars. Nagyo guest na kami, nagyo guest na kami sa blog. Yeng, si Yeng. There you go. Yeng, oh Yeng. <laughs> Tama, yeah. okay. Yeah, okay. For some reason, he just was able to get the best out of his players, and uh-huh. uh, you know, no, no two starting fives are alike. Eh. You really yeah. cannot Correct. prepare for until now. You, oh, di ba? No, till today. Yeah. Hindi yeah. Nag-trans- maybe hindi nag translate to international basketball, but for there's a reason why he's still in the PBA. And yes, you had a very yes. good yes. relationship with him. Oh, hindi, uh, alam mo kasi I was never uh, I have friends, but I was never a very sociable person. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> hindi ako ano eh, I do not go out of my way. Eh, labas yeah. tayo, kain tayo, ganun yeah. ganun. Yeah. Hindi, yeah. hindi ako ganun eh. No? Mm-hmm. Uh, I just kept to myself, you know, uh, go to work and then go back, spend a lot of time with family. That was mm-hmm. always me. And up to now, I think yeah. yun yung aking mentality. That's why yung na stress sa sarili ko eh. Okay. okay. <laughs> oh, tapos yung second part ng oh, what's the coach? second question oh. again? Best player you coached? Oh, in terms of individual achievement, of course, si Benji. 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 Mm-hmm. You know? In terms of individual achievement, yeah, two-time MVP, mm-hmm. rookie MVP, de ba? Yeah. So everybody, the best defender Chris Jackson, my best import was the, the John, John John Best, no? Mm-hmm. 
So, dami, daming ano. They all had their strengths. Yeah. Yeah. Coach, okay. when you decided uh, to part ways with Shell, uh, I know you said uh, it's because you wanted to go back to the States, but were there any other PBA teams who reached out uh tried to get you? Uh, no. 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 And, uh, no. 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 There was, there was no other PBA team that wanted to get me. Uh, although I remember before I left, no, I don't remember who I spoke with. I think it was Commissioner Noli Ayala, no, at the time. Sabi niya Perry, uh, palis ka na pala, pero you know, if if di ka palis, sana offer ko sa yung head ng technical committee of the PBA. Mm. No, sabi ko palis na ako eh. So this is it. No, so after that, wala na, wala na offer, and uh, mm. you know it was I was perfectly fine with that. That yeah, that yeah. episode in my life was over. Ayoko na masadong <laughs> balik balik. Yeah yeah yeah. Ever pa na papalitan yung kapwa Perry then. <laughs> oh, si Perry Martinez. 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 Oh, Sa yung parang commissioner noon, 'di ba? Parang ganoon. Bait niya ni Joey Guanyo. Ang um, bait, bait. Parang ano, sarcastic <laughs> yan tayo. Sarcastic pa yan. Ito ano eh. Basta sabihin natin sa kanya yan, bait bait mo. Magkita kami Wednesday yeah, at magkita ko siya. Skip it muna plus in. May mga coaching staff ko, lahat yan ang babait niyan. Alam niyo na ko sino sila. No? Si Jig, ako bait din yan. Si Jig. <laughs> mga taga-UP, mga taga-UP. Uh, ako. So, mga UP boys. No. Ang totoong mabait si lang si Herc Calyanta. Ang totoong mabait. <laughs> 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 oh, ano na yun? Di ba din na ngayon yun, uh, Sid? Uh, Lyceum. Yeah. Yeah, Lyceum. Uh, sa Lyceum. And his son actually also became the the trainer of this uh, yes. this si, one of the UP fighting. Yeah. Si Chappie. 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 Si Chappie, maliit pa lang. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, nakakatawa nga nun eh. Kasi nung sa Shell before, nung pag nagpa-practice kami eh, kalaro ng anak ko si Kobe. Paras. Mm-hmm. Paras. Si, mm-hmm. ano, si uh, Bob, Bobby Ray. No? Mm-hmm. Sila-sila yun eh. Maliliit eh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, na, <laughs> Mga shell Wala, boys. They're all, they're all grown now. I know. <laughs> It tells you how old we are. O, oh, di ba? <laughs> Ganun lang yan eh. Reality sa atin lang yan. Guys, pahabol. Pahabol kay Coach Perry. No, I'm good. Uh, you all good? You all good? Okay. Mm-hmm. That's the Perry Ronquillo story, guys. But we, obviously, we have to do our regular segments. Coach, you've seen this already. Yes. Let's enter the Twilight Zone. We're entering yeah. the, uh, towards the end of our show. Twilight Zone. First part of our Twilight Zone is a segment called the uh, XSROs. Uh-huh. Diba? It's brought to us by Tuminugan Farm. If you need to relax and unwind, tinan nyo mo naman. Ganda-ganda. Rejuvenate. Reconnect with nature right at the foot of the Kitanglad Mountain Range in Bukid Nod. Be with the horses and nature. Choose from the accommodations, the farmhouse, the bungalow, the cottage, or the tulugan. It can accommodate entire families, groups of friends, backpackers, and even team building events. So go to tuminuganfarm.com, IG, or Facebook. Book now. You can start your Mindanao adventure there today. It's a beautiful place. You can see XSROs, Coach. I have a list. I just want mm-hmm. you to choose. Make your choice. You don't have to explain why. Okay. Coach, let's start. Huh? Game. Oh, Do you like the Shell Velocity, Shell Zoom Masters, or Shell... Uh, techno, ano yun? Turbo turbochargers, chargers. turbochargers, uh, turbochargers, turbochargers. Mm-hmm. Turbo championship yeah. yata. Championship yun champion yun. Yun. Uh-huh. Uh, ito, Noy Castillo or Romel Santos? Different type of player. Uh-huh. Different uh-huh. type. Uh, siguro nito say mas versatile si Romel. Okay, 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 uh-huh. okay. John Best or Bobby Parks? Well. John Best. Basta yeah, handle ko si John Best eh. Hindi yeah, yeah. ko naman na-handle si Bobby Parks eh. Yeah, kasi yeah. nag-assistant na rin siya sa'yo eh, di ba? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Nakakurbata na rin siya nun eh, nung mga sa mga oh, pictures yeah. mo, di ba? Oo. Oh. Okay, okay. Rob Wainwright or Tony De La Cruz? I think si, uh, I think si Tony. Tony. Okay. Tony. Admar, okay. yeah. Chris Calagio or Ronald Tubid? 
Cristiano Ronaldo win. Ay. That's pantayon eh. Pantayon, pantayon. Oh. Okay. Pwede, pwede. Sige, pwede. Pantayun. Benji Paras or Chris Jackson? Ah, pantay din yan. <laughs> here we go, here we go. Okay, the, next. The best, the best ah. offensive player, ah. the best of defensive player. Defensive player. Oh, pwede, pwede. Okay. Like, Eddie Laure or Vic Pablo? Uh, I would say si Vic. Vic, yeah. yeah. I, I, I could get. Michael Rayback or Mark Clemens Telan? Mm, I would say baka si uh, Telan. I'll go with Telan. Telan, okay. Telan. Dale Singson or Renzi Bahar? Dale Singson, a lot of... Yung, yung promise niya, hindi niya na-fulfill eh. Dahil, mm-hmm. ano eh, pero in terms of talent, siguro lamang si Dale. Dale, no? Dale, no? Magaling doon talaga oh, si Dale. Uh, May mga si, flashes of brilliance talaga si, si Dale. Oh, eh, diba? pero si Renzi naman, the thing about Renzi was, you know, nobody expected him to be in the PBA. Yeah. Tapos, he, he, you know, credit to him. And now what he's doing with his coaching. Yeah. Yeah, he's been around huh? for, for a yeah, long time. Yeah, coaching yeah. And all. Okay, 98, I think I know your answer for this. 98 Governor's Cup or 99 Old Filipino? Well, mas special yung, ano, yung 99. Yeah, AFC. Okay. Uh, Mobiline Phone Pulse or Tandway Gold? I would say Mobiline. Mobiline. Okay. Okay. Trying to stop Silas Mills or trying to stop Artemus McClary? Oh, Silas Mills Silas Mills was, uh, was a headache <laughs> He was a headache He was could be too inside and out He was just a headache More than McClary, okay, okay. Yeah. Ito, uh, Menk or Alvarado? Menk Menk, no? Menk, Menk. Eh. Menk pa rin eh Menk. Okay. Ito, baka draft picks mo Eddie Laure or Michael Hrayback? Uh, Eddie Laure Eddie Laure Toughness, yeah. mas tough na na inherit na mga daughters niya, di ba? Oh, oh yeah, di ba? Yes. Sa volleyball, grabe yung mga oh, anak niya. Oh. Eddie Laure. Bobby Villarosa or Bobby Canapi? Patagal ko nakasama si Bobby Villarosa eh. Hmm. Okay. Si Bobby Canapi, one year lang eh. Okay, mm. later na. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Um, what you call this? Uh, Edwin Bacani or Jojo Lim? Mas offensively talented si uh, offensively talented si Bakani pero defensively may versatility si Jojo. Jojo Lim, okay. So so defense. So parang ano Chris Jackson ano kanina yan, okay. May strength. Benji Benji para sa the post. Chris Jackson at the three point line or Vic Pablo slashing into the paint. Uh, Benji para sa the post because everything Benji starts the from there. Ah, I see. Okay. okay. To get right, doubled, man. then yeah. everything opens up for us. Eh. Okay, okay. Ito, Adonis Santa Maria or Eric Canlas? Adonis. Adonis. Okay. okay. Yung anak niya, up and coming na rin, Lasal Sobel. Yes, Jay Mendoza so. or Joel Dualan? I'd say si Joel. Mm-hmm. Joel. Ah, para doon. Si, okay. si Jay had more, more talent, pero I think si Joel kept his head in the game. Mm-hmm. Even kill Jay. Yeah. He didn't. Jay, so she didn't know what you were. Jay Ratika. Okay, Jay. Okay, okay. I get it. I get it. Okay. How about this? Do you like it run and gun or slow it down and set it up? Depends on the style of. Uh, depends on my mood. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice. Okay, Crispa Toyota. Nung nasa Mika Crispa, pero sa PBA okay. Toyota ko. Okay, so okay. Long range siya kasi. Okay. Okay, okay. Lakers or Celtics? Oh, Celtics. Celtics fan. Yeah. Happy si Sid. Happy si Sid saka si Noel na wala rito. Celtic fan siya mga. Ako Lakers fan ako. Jaworski or Fernandez? I think popularity of course Jaworski. Pero mm-hmm. overall mm-hmm. talent Bon Fernandez. Don Ramon. No. Okay. Yeah, well, we agree with you there. Yeah, and the last one, please show the photo, Carly. Papiliin natin si Coach. <laughs> coach Jan. si Gretchen, si Alice, si Don, o si Kring Kring? Oh my God! Kule ha? Pinahirapan niyo ako dito eh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Alice Dixon. Alice uh, Dixon na naman. Uh, Nakailan na yun si Alice ha? I can feel uh, it. 
I can <laughs> feel it. Alice na naman. Okay, that's Alice Exercise Rose for episode 205. I'll turn it over now to Jay Mercado, but I will read the spiel first. Ano, para dito. Uh-huh. This is brought to us by... Uh, this is a segment called What are the Odds? Brought to us by Arena Plus. And uh, sandali, ang basahin ko... Those uh, matches from the 70s to 90s. You know, you can... Uh, the stories of heart and hustle. Get that passion back with Arena Plus. Hey, this is for 21 and over only. Everyone less than 21. Mm. Close your ears, okay? Make mm. your game watching a bit more interesting. Arena Plus is user-friendly. Made for real sports fans. It's not about just the bets. It's about deepening your connection with every play. But play it smart. Stay within your limits. Bet what you can't afford to lose. And never chase your losses. Arena Plus, it's where enthusiasm for basketball and excitement of the game come together. Enjoy the game responsibly. Download the app today. Regional laws and regulations may apply. 21 years and above lamang po ang Arena Plus. Go, Jay. What are the odds? Yeah, Coach, you, we heard what you said regarding yung, yung, the, yung veterans in your helping you win the championship. No? Mm-hmm. What are the odds of Shell winning a championship if it was Ronnie Magsanok pa rin as your point guard and not Jerry Esplana? Um, it was still possible for us to win. It yeah. would still be possible for us to win. Because uh, Ronnie presents a different dimension, no? He would, you know, who would be taking him on defense? Chances are, it would still be a a uh, what do you call this? A guard, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, unless they do something else, no? But you know, if it's, if a guard would be taking Ronnie, mm-hmm. uh, I would probably run them through a lot of screens. And then force them to force the defense to decide where to 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 funnel Ronnie, because Ronnie can shoot coming coming to the left, not to the right, or going to the left. No, mm-hmm. so yeah, it it would still be. I think it would still be a good uh uh what do you call this? The odds would still be in our favor. Nice. Okay. Nice. Okay. Sorry. May, may na bumati oh, sa'yo. Oh, okay. Ito mo. Ito mo. Burger oh, machine. Si Ben Season. Oh, Vince. Vince. Hi, oh. Vince. Hi, hi, hi. Vicente. Uh, mga Tukayo ko. Tukayo. Vincent ako eh. Vincent Perry. Ah, oh, okay. Oh, Perry is always, Perry is one of your given names talaga. That's, yes, that's, Vincent that's Perry. That's above, no. Vincent Perry. Yes, oh, hindi, Vincent. hindi lang palaya, okay. Uh, Vincent, tinatawag sa akin nung paggalit yung teacher ko sa akin. <laughs> <laughs> Ganun naman lagi. Pati magulang, oh. ganun, di ba? Oh. Biglang full name agad ang tatawag sa atin. <laughs> okay, Mr. Mer- uh, Mr. Mercado, thank you for that. That's brought to us by Arena Plus. What are the odds? Mr. Ventura, your turn. Okay, coach, hypothetical question for me. Mm-hmm. Ano, uh, if you could have dinner with any basketball figure pers- or personality, living or dead, past or present, foreign or local, who would it be and uh, what would you talk about? Uh, Larry Bird. Ah, Ooh, I'd like, okay. I would like Ooh. to pick his mind because he was successful at playing, coaching, mm-hmm. and managing and, uh, as an executive. Yes. I want to see how his mind operates. No. Basketball, ah? Huh? Yes, of course. <laughs> Can I sit in on that dinner? <laughs> oh, anytime, anytime, anytime. <laughs> I, I'd like to be there too, you know? I'd like to be there too. Larry Bird. Oh. Oh. Actually, tamang yung sinabi niyo, Coach. He, na, mag- mag-ano na ako, ah? magpa-fanboy na ako. Ah. Only, <laughs> only person who's won Rookie of the Year, MVP, Finals MVP, Coach of the Year, and Executive of the Year. Yes. Larry Bird. Yeah. No, yeah. Yep. At, oh. at all yeah, yeah. levels. Oh. Kahit anong pasukan niyang role, oh. di ba? Mm-hmm. Hindi, lang, oh, hindi lang father of the year, no? Pero, di ba? Pero, that's, lang, that's a lang. different story. That's a different story altogether, di ba? So, but Larry Bird, one of the, one of the all-time best. Yes. And we had, all, we had one of the all-time best as well on our show today. Coach Perry, before we let you go, hello, Porky. This is the, this is the Batian segment, uh, Coach. Yan ang bati ni Joe Cantada sa anak niya. So, yes. before we let you go, it's your turn to acknowledge, thank, uh, shout out to, to anybody, Coach, before we let you go. Well, all my children, they are Chi Maggie, okay. Uh, my managers before, si William Ong from uh, Warner. Uh, my uh, f- my girl, uh, my uh, son's girlfriend, si Michelle, for allowing me to come over. And yeah, thank you to our Thank you. Yeah, my best friends here in, um, in the States, si uh, Freddy Alcantara and uh, June Panlilio, my former teammate from La Salle. No, all my former coaches, my former teammates, uh, and all my former players, 
I wouldn't be here without you. Maraming salamat sa inyong lahat. Maraming salamat. My assistant coaches, si Joey, si Jig. Okay. Uh, o yung mga pamilyang mababait, no? Shell Organization, Burger Machine, uh, Norman Black and San Miguel. Uh, they gave me my first break yung sa Hiroshima, Asian Games, no? Of course, Lasal, Lasal, and uh, even Ateneo. They gave me a chance to coach for Ateneo also. No nga pala, no? Uh, hindi natin napag-usapan na niya. Nagkaroon din ako ng mga good friends sa Ateneo. No? PBA Press Corps, and sa inyong tatlo for giving me, giving an old guy uh, some airtime. <laughs> Thank you. Yun na coach, ha? Kompleto okay, na yan, ha? Walang magtatampo, ha? Uh, Kung may pahabol, pero... pasabi mo lang. <laughs> Sige, coach. Oh, yan, lahat ng players ko, yun, sila, yeah. sila sa shell, no? Especially, mm-hmm. the, the very, very special on shell. No? Of course, Jerry, si Ronnie, si Benji, si Vic, si Noy, Chris, June, Romel, Jay, Joel, mm-hmm. sino po ba? Buboy, Erwin, and Dennis. Jo- si Jojo Lim, John Best, Okay, my favorite team port of all time, Donald Williams and uh, Bobby Rios for sending us quality imports every time. Okay, yung nabati ko na yung tatlong assistant coaches ko, si Joey, si Jig, si Herc, and uh, the late Bobby Parks, no? Sa Burger Machine, yung mga players before, and my manager, si Tony Blanco and Steve Sarmenta, no? uh, De La Salle Sobel for also giving me a break. Uh, coaches ko, Waki Trillo, Derek Pumaran, and uh, sino pa ba? Okay, um, Milo Best, Nick Jorge, of course, and Marilyn Jorge. No? Uh, and all the Ronquillos from Tondo and Tambo and uh, Parinaque and my uh, and uh, my relatives, the Chaveses from Himamayla, Negros Occidental. Thank you. So, yun. Ayan, siguro yung kompleto na yan, Coach. Maraming salamat. And we thank you, of course, for taking time to share your story with us, uh, Coach. Next time you're in Manila, mm-hmm. let us know. Maybe we can get together uh, but yes. whenever that will be. But uh, So that's episode 205, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, on this Saturday morning. Uh, we went a bit into overtime, but overtime is always nice <laughs> when the game is great. So and the game was great today. Thanks so much for sharing. Uh, we just remind everybody, we are part of the Global Evolving Network. And uh, so keep... Uh, Checking out the shows on the Globally Bolly Network. We are powered by San Miguel Corporation in cooperation with Tuminugan Farm and, Aranet, uh, and Arena Plus, rather. So thank you to them, of course. Thank you, PBA Archives, PH Sports Bureau, for the photos and the information that we share with our followers and our, our uh, viewers. And uh, happy birthday to our uh, AOB family members this past week. Joe Ward, Jumpin' Joe Ward, Andy Thompson, Tim Coloso, and Jervis Cole. Birthday. Happy birthday sa inyong lahat. Uh, birthday din ng nanay ko. Happy birthday, ma. Thanks Happy for birthday. everything. Okay. Thank you. Diba? And then, uh, so yun, that's episode 205. It's now in the books for my partners, Sid Ventura, and the late Sid Ventura, and the late Jay Mercado <laughs> sa araw na ito. Diba? Ako naman po si Charlie Guna. Maraming salamat po siya. We'll, let's let's <laughs> keep touch. Hope to meet you, you one of these thank days. You, thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you to so everyone for watching. Our you. next guest, Thanks we will well. announce on our Facebook page. Sinong you know, next guest as soon as we can. Please wait for that. Follow us on Facebook and then continue to support our show. Send us some stars if you can. Thank you so much uh, to everybody who watched, uh, especially all the former pros. Marahin salamat. Yan na po. Papaalam na. Kaya na po tayo. Thank you so much, Coach. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you, Carla. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you Aaron. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thank you, See you. guys. Thank you. A leader in key sectors so vital to the growth of our nation. Food, beverage, packaging, infrastructure, energy, and power. Proudly Filipino, through our well-loved brands, we carry the flag overseas. Yet we've always held out for ourselves a larger purpose. 
to use our scale, size, and dynamism to deliver products and services that can unlock and accelerate new opportunities for growth and drive our economy forward. We are committed to contribute to a resilient and globally competitive Philippines where businesses like San Miguel can use their resources and imagination to expand the economy and ensure that prosperity is widely shared. Today, our focus is on generating investments and projects that will enable our country to achieve its full promise. Malasakit is woven into all that we do, from ensuring that more Filipinos are food secure, have access to reliable, sustainable and affordable energy, world-class roads, airports, mass transit, stronger communities and greater economic opportunities. We are helping build the Philippines that can carry our 110 million strong population into a future whose defining challenges of our time will be an energy transition, resource scarcity, and the need for greater inclusiveness. As a company, we have set our sights on building the nation of our dreams. By leveraging our expertise, leadership, and reach, As San Miguel, we will do what it takes to build a better future for all Filipinos.